finds Deacon. Deacon, he's going to pick the corner. Grant Deacon scores. Wait, that's going to be very good here as McLean steals it away. Oh, goes to the backhand up. and scores. A solo effort by Trevor McLean. Two, one, Arkansas wins. Five to three on senior night. Welcome to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set to bring you another game of Arkansas Razorback hockey. Today, the Division III Razorbacks are facing off once again against the East Texas Baptist University Tigers, a rematch of last night's game. Arkansas came away with an 11-4 win in that one. It was a little bit closer than that up until the end, but uh, they'll look to come out today and make a statement as they try to get their 30th win of the season, Arkansas coming into the game this afternoon at 29 and three, and across from them, the Tigers are 21 and three. My name is Corey Porter. Alongside me on color today is Rich Sanders. We got Quinn Shield producing and EJ Sanders on camera. Rich, we were both here for that game last night. What do you want to see from each of these teams coming into this afternoon's game? Well, I want to see each team grab the half of the game where they dominated and bring that for the whole game today. Arkansas dominated. Uh, at the beginning and then had a six goal flurry in the third period six goals in about four minutes and completely dominated the game uh, made East Texas Baptist look uh, a little more inferior than they are but by the same token the middle of the game uh, it was like the meat of the sandwich for East Texas Baptist uh, they really dominated Arkansas like no team we've seen in this arena this year and in taking it to the hogs had 19 shots on goal in the second period Closed a 5-1 gap to 5-3, and probably the turning point in the game was Dusenka in the net. Joseph Dusenka with a save on a 5-on-3 uh, that shut down the Tigers. The Tigers did get a goal to get within one, but after that it was Katie Bar the, do bar the door. Arkansas scores six goals and wins it 11-4 to four going away. Yeah, Arkansas started real fast yesterday. That was the, one of our keys to the game. They came out with four goals in the first period, but like you mentioned, in that middle frame, it was really all the Tigers, and a lot of it had to do with the goaltender switch. They started with Tyler Fitzgerald in net, but after he gave up that fourth goal, they quickly switched to Nicholas Bizzuto, who uh, was excellent up until uh, the very end of the third, where Arkansas kind of put it away, and today they'll start their third goaltender of the weekend as sophomore Alex Domas from Lafayette, Lafayette Louisiana. Louisiana uh, gets his seventh start of the year. He is 5-1 on the year with a 2-10 goals against average, 902 save percentage. And opposite him is going to be junior Alex Kalmus out of Baldwin, Missouri. He is 11-2 on the year. He's got a 2-5-4 goals against average and a 913 save percentage. And as they announce the starting lineups, we'll take a moment to thank our broadcast sponsors, RLP Home Builders, family owned and operated. They have been helping build Northwest Arkansas for over a decade. And Bofides, Tasty Nuts, a veteran owned gourmet snack company with a passion for quality snacks, good friends and great times. A portion of every purchase goes with small veteran charities in need. Use the code HOGHOCKEY for 10% off your purchase today. Please check out the YouTube description for links to both of these companies below. And we'll pause for the national anthem. If you would please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem.
a physical game yesterday that saw one man from each team get a game misconduct. We don't see Dominic De La Guardia out there. Number five for Arkansas. Also, Timothy Ziddle was escorted off early. We don't see him out there either. So both teams playing a little bit shorthanded. We mentioned yesterday Evan Kerr out with an injury. He will be out again today. And I've heard that Ryan Gruska will also be out with an injury for East Texas Baptist. So a little bit shorthanded, but I think both these teams have ample depth. And LaPlante will be out for Arkansas as well. As Alex Kalmus gets ready, Arkansas wearing their home white uniforms. Skating from our left to right side. And the blue uniforms with the yellow for East Texas Baptist. That's going to be Patterson at center ice. This one tied up into the Tiger zone and controlled by East Texas Baptist. They throw it out, intercepted. Dom De La Guardia, he's going to dump it in deep, and it's going to be chased down, picked up by Lang. He sends it far side under the stick of McLeod as Gottlieb tries to take it away. He does. He puts it down low under the stick of Patterson. He's in a battle for it down low behind the Tigers' net. And this one comes out as Baird tries to find his man streaking out of the zone. That was Duncan, but Arkansas turns it back over once again. Ellis into the zone, top of the circle, takes a shot, deflected up in front and up and out of play. Good defensive play by Lars McLeod as he got a stick on that one. And we'll get an offensive zone faceoff for the Hogs. Both teams make an early change. Face off to the left side of Domus. It's going to be Stovall, one to the side boards. Stovall gets it back to McAtee, who just throws it wide of the net, goes to the far side. Foster pinching in, takes a body. It's going to be picked up by Spiller, the left-handed stick, plays it up the left wing. Trying to get it out of the zone, they do. They shovel it up to Van Gemmerden. Spiller gets it back, dumps it in. He's in a race with McAtee, but they're going to call a delayed offside. And McAtee gets some room to work with a minute gone here in the first. McAtee across the red line, dumps it in. It's going to be Suga Sawara. Knocks his man off the puck, but the puck goes errant. And it's going to be dumped back in once again by McAtee. Delayed offside, cleared by the Hawks. Stovall chasing it down, intercepts it at the blue line. Backhand pass to Wilson, can't handle it. Picked up Suga Sawara. Having a hard time with Stevenson, getting his stick in the way. Back to the point, Foster, quick wrister, couldn't get it through traffic. And picked up on the far side now, Stovall. Cross ice pass right out in front to the stick of Suga Sawara. Great job in front, tying him up, couldn't get a shot away. And this one's flipped up, hit with a high stick as Van Gemmerden just has to let Sean Foster pick it up. Foster chips it out, hit a linesman. This one's going to be turned over right at the Arkansas blue line. Stovall trying to take it away, he does. He's going to dump it in and go for a change as Patterson, or excuse me, Salmon is the only one there for the Hawks. Near side boards now as the Tigers turn it over. Kieser finds his man in front. Quick shot, save, another shot, missed the net. Two chances there for Trevor McLean, and he couldn't find the back of the net. The Tigers carried out of the zone, cross eyes passed. Off the stick, taken away by Valdron. Valdron threw a couple men, top of the circle. He's being forced wide by McLeroy. Valdron still with it, gets it back to the point. Held there, quick shot in front, save by Domus, and this one comes back out to the blue line, but kept in momentarily by Valdron, still trying to chip it in deep. And they do. That's McLean with the puck. Steps out in front, cross ice pass, and Owen home. It's going to be taken now by Bierney. Bierney throws it out of the zone, and it's handled by Deskier. Near side pass, finds a stick of Valdron. Across the Tigers' blue line, he takes a body as he shows it ahead for Salmon, and a battle along the near side boards. Salmon comes away with it, passes it down low, give and go pass, couldn't find Salmon, a quick shot in front as Kieser tried to find a man back post, nobody home. And it's shoveled far side now, looking to break out of the zone. It's like McLeroy, and it's taken away once again. Kieser gets tied up with McLean. McLean comes away with the puck, stick handle, tried to get a backhand pass, and it's going to be covered up in the crease by Domus. As Arkansas looked a little bit out of sorts on that rush, but a lot of early pressure here from the Hogs. 16-43 left to play in the first period. We are tied at zero. Good start for Arkansas. Last night when the Hogs struggled, it was that they weren't getting shots on net. They have three on net already and a couple of close chances. Uh, some passes that just out of reach of potential shooters. 
Face off one by the Tigers. They'll try to break out, but this one's going to go all the way down the ice, and it'll come back for the icing. Arkansas will get once again an offensive zone face off. Nick Valentini out there against Van Gemmerden. That's going to be on the near side to the left of Domus. That's going to be Deacon in there to take it against Van Gemmerden. It's one to the side boards and controlled by Lang. Sends it far side on the stick of Wiggins. Outlet pass, finds his man, Van Gemmerden. Into the zone, but runs into four Hog players as Valentini takes a huge hit, but picked up by DeGuire. Carries it into the zone, being forced outside by McLeod. Both players hit the ice, still trying to come away with the puck. On the stick of Soderstrom. And he's got some room in front of him as he skates it out of his own zone. He's got Wiggins with him. Soderstrom into the zone, being forced wide. Takes a shot, good save by Kalmus. And the rebound was chipped by Riley, but the Tigers get it back at deep into the corner. Soderstrom sends it far side, but it's taken by Odeline, and he's tripped up. Van Gemmerden along with Valentini. Valentini pokes it ahead to himself, chips it ahead to Riley. Two on one coming the other way. Riley cross, tipped pass in front. Good break up there by Spiller as he puts a body on Riley in the corner. And a battle for it on the near side boards. Taken away by Riley. Spiller on him once again. And this one comes all the way out to Valentini. Got to be careful with the change there. He sends it near side McAtee. McAtee in his own zone. Flips this one up. It's gloved down by the captain, Spiller. He's going to chip it into the zone once again on the stick of McAtee. Sends it far side, Foster. Being pressured by Baird. McAtee finds a stick of his man, Gottlieb. Across the blue line. Takes a quick shot, or he looking, looking for a pass in front to Ellis. Just missed his stick as that one goes bounding towards the net as well, but high. Patterson pressuring. Clears his own. Delayed offside. And Spiller regroups. 14.46 left to play in the first period. Much better start for the Tigers than last night's game. As they chip this one into the zone, it's going to be McAtee once again. They'll send it far side. Picked up in front, tried to take a shot, and fanned on it was Riley Not as McAtee skates it ahead. Toe drag move in front, makes another move. Backhanded pass down low. Gottlieb tried a centering pass. This one bounds out to Ellis, the top of the circle. The point now, flips one in front, save. Rebound was loose, but it's going to be picked up by Duncan. He flips it ahead, but offside as Riley was just ahead of the play. He had a man, but Riley lost track of where he was on the ice. Little slower start for Arkansas today, just four shots. One so far for East Texas Baptist University. I think by this time uh, last night, it was already two to nothing for Arkansas. And a big rebound given up so far from Domus. Smaller goaltender in net. It's going to be Stovall against Dorham. And Dorham comes away with it. He sends it off the boards, back to the point. Kept in by Fletcher. And this one does come out of the zone. Suka Sawari sends it near side. Valdron. Arkansas looking to push it up as Wilson tips it in. Chased down by Stovall. He's got McLeroy on him. Leaves it for Wilson. Picks it up. Stick handling move. Gets it back to Fletcher. Bounces off his stick. It's going to be chipped ahead. But Arkansas is going to win the race of the puck once again as Valdron loses an edge. Able to regain control of the puck. It does come bouncing out in front, but Suka Sawara Chips it ahead, dances out of the way of a hit. This one goes up and down finally. Picked up by Valdron. Finds his man near side, Stovall. He just has to backhand it in. As Arkansas looks to make a change, and the Tigers look to break out of the zone. Kept in by Odeline. He's going to skate it in. Just three hogs in the zone with 13-12 to play. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away. And somehow Domus pinches that pad against the ice and stops that puck. Kieser nearly snuck it underneath him. But Domus makes the save, 13.05. Sneaky shot there by Kieser. Would have yeah. been a great pass for a tip in. Yeah, it came on the ice late. Wasn't covered up as he wins his face off back to Odeline. Blasts his shot, tipped in front, just missed that top right corner. 
Try to the outlet pass, intercepted by Arkansas, dumping it in once again. It's going to be Lang versus Salmon. Chip near side, Kieser finds a man in front. Did a good job tying him up. Rebound was loose in front. This one comes out to center ice, controlled by Odeline. Odeline, toe drag move, but he takes a nice hip check. Open ice there, made by Soderstrom. And Arkansas has to regroup once again to Guire. 12.30 to play here in the first period. Still scoreless as DeGuire waits for something to develop. Sends it near side. Salmon's outlet pass just misses the stick of Kieser. And McLeod's going to take it for the Tigers. Flips it out to center ice once again. Odeline's going to dump it. Arkansas clears the delayed offside. And Kieser's going to fight for it on the far side. McLean chips it to the stick of Kieser. Kieser fanned on the pass. Does bounce out in front. Couldn't be controlled, and it comes to the near side boards. Now McLean pressuring. McAtee throws it in front to a defender without a stick. Picked up by Lang. He's got Salmon and McLean on him. Chipped out in front. This one's going to come out, and Foster's going to have to chase it. But once again, the Tigers can't get a rush going as most of their line is making a change. Taken away by Van Gemmerden. Centered it, but no one was home. As McAtee being pressured hard by Baird. Regains control of the puck, loses it, but Kieser picks it up, and he's going to skate it out. Pass it near side, Salmon. Salmon dumps it in. It's going to be picked up by Duncan. Sends it near side for Spiller. The captain looking to make something happen. Chips it to himself. He's got Riley lining him up. Has to dance out of the way. Near side pass. Nicely finds Baird, who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. And he's going to hold on for the whistle. Just the second shot he's seen all game. And Arkansas is going to have a defensive zone faceoff for the first time this afternoon. East Texas Baptist, their second shot from Devin Baird. And it comes from 60 feet away. And a good save there by Kalmus. Van Gemmerden wins it to a strong side to Spiller. Quick wrist shot, block shot in front by Riley. Back to Spiller. Couldn't get it through the traffic in front, and Sean Foster just chips it out to the neutral zone. Picked up by Duncan. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has to glove it, and Foster takes exception to the man chipping his goaltender in front. We talked a little bit about this game getting chippy last night, and Foster's not, not a guy who's afraid to mix it up, especially if you're coming in on his goaltender like that. Quick to take exception, but I think you want that from the guy who's nearest to the goaltender. 10.51 to play. Face off to the right side of Kalmus. And it's going to be won by Deacon. Couldn't clear the zone as Spiller dumps it in. Tipped up and out of play. We'll get a face off from the same dot as before. Foster does the things that don't really show up statistically. Just before that face off, three sticks right around the puck. And only one of them was an Arkansas stick, and it was Foster who uh, got the puck out of harm's way. Uh, not tips it ahead to himself, but couldn't get it as this one's dumped down the ice. A race for it. Valentini is not going to win that one. Uh, Stevenson had him boxed out, and we'll get a faceoff once again in the Arkansas zone. Just 10.37 to play here in the first. Good crowd on hand once again. Talking about the little things, Stevenson beating out the icing. It's Stevenson earlier in the period who uh, stick lift to uh, negate an Arkansas chance in front of his net. Deacon versus Knott once again. Knott gets it back to Spiller. Spiller tries to get out of the way. Riley puts a body on him. Spiller picks it back up. Toe drag in front, shot high in the net. Picked up now by Baird. Into the corner, taken away though by Valentini. Got a four on three coming back the other way. Valentini. Moves out of the way of a check, but knocked him off the puck just enough as Foster's in deep. McAtee, the only defender back for Arkansas. Deacon gets a shot in front, misses wide. Another shot couldn't get through, and this one's going to be dumped back into the neutral zone, and McAtee is going to gather it in for the Hogs. Ten minutes to play. Pressured by Knott. Long pass, finds Deacon. Spiller puts a body on him, picked up now by Wathan. Near side, trying to... Break out of the zone, having some trouble. They finally do get it out. But it's taken away right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone, gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. That rising shot hits the chest of Domus. 
Looks like he's about five foot five on skates. Realized later that was his record. Lafayette, five, Louisiana. <laughs> five one. Did you say he was five one? No, I just thought that at first. No, but it's his record. Five it's and five one on one. the year. We'll we'll give him five seven on skates. Face off to his left side. It's going to be won by the Tigers once again, who dominated face offs yesterday. But they can't get out of their own zone. Dumped in deep once again by the Hawks. Chase down, looks like Shea, tries it on the near side. Arkansas giving him trouble there. Bierney behind his own net. And pressured hard by Patterson. Patterson knocked him off the puck, but Bierney takes it right back. And it's going to be Patterson coming away with it, though. Bierney chasing him down as Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! <laughs> Kyle Patterson cleans up the junk in front and gets Arkansas on the board first once again as the Hogs take a one to zero lead. It was Patterson that was pressuring Bierney to begin with. Got the puck in deep once again, set himself up in front of the net and he's home to bury the rebound with 8.57 to play. It took Arkansas nine shots to get the goal, but that's all I believe Arkansas has to do. Just be patient, keep peppering the net, and the chances are going to come. Yeah, as soon as I said the Tigers were preventing the Hogs from really getting anything out in front of the net, they go and prove me wrong as Valdron was able to get that initial shot. And the Hogs control the ensuing faceoff. Wilson trying to get it into the zone. He does momentarily, but this one comes back out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! <laughs> Alex Domas couldn't handle it. Goes five hole. He thought he had it underneath him, but it just snuck behind him, and Arkansas buries the goal. I think we're going to give that one to Jordan Deskier. And Arkansas opens it up once again. Reminiscent of last night's first period and late in the third period as well, scoring in bunches. 25 seconds apart for Arkansas, two to nothing. And uh, the goals came in two huge bunches last night. And Arkansas maybe just another goal away from the dam completely breaking for the Tigers. It's going to be Stovall to take the face off against Knott. Controlled by Arkansas. Stovall sends it back. Cross ice pass to Sawara. Into the zone. Try to make a toe drag move. Broken up nicely by McLeod. Plays it off the boards in an outlet pass. Taken away by Odeline. Tied up in his skates as Duncan tries to take it away. Odeline loses it once again. Not and Duncan there. Not looking for Duncan in front, but a great job by Odalon tying him up. Coming the other way, Suga Sawara. Toe drag move between the legs, steps out in front, another move, a pass. Look for one more pass. And nobody home on the back doorstep. As not forces it into the zone, but Arkansas turns it over once again. Wilson into the zone. He's going to leave it there, Odalon. Odalon makes a toe drag move. Look for a man in front, broken up by Spiller. Taken now by Duncan. Duncan's going to dump it in deep. It's going to come near side to not the leading goal scorer on this team. He's been quiet this weekend. Leaves it for Duncan. Toe drag moves. Circles around. Finds not in front. Tied up by Odeline. Couldn't get the shot away. Stovall once again tries the outlet pass. This one chipped into the zone by the Tigers in Arkansas. Was able to get a change. 7.25 to play. Controlled behind the net. Soderstrom tries to send it near side. The Hogs. Take it away, Salmon centering pass. This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save by Domus. Tiny little window for McAtee to send that puck through. Which also means a tiny little view for Domus, but he's able to gather it in and holds on for the whistle. Face off comes to his left side. It's going to be Kieser. Kieser wins it back to McAtee. McAtee steps in on his backhand now, loses it but right to the stick of McLean. Try to cross ice pass. Couldn't find Salmon. Foster chips in in front. Another cross ice pass. Couldn't be handled as he had a wide open net. And coming back the other way is the Tigers as Foster 
Chips it ahead. Ooh, Kieser puts a huge hit on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass, shot gets away. Good save by Domus, and he's going to cover it up quickly. Kieser got lined up for that hit, but really got the better of Stevenson as he just lowered his shoulder, and the captain. Assists on the Arkansas goals on Patterson's goal came from Tyler Valdron and Dakota Gottlieb. Chris Stovall with the assist on Skier's goal. And they're going to bring out the Suga Suarez, Stovall, Wilson line, along with Foster and McAtee. Face off against Van Gemmerden, who wins it back. Bierney sends it back to the point. Quick shot saved by Domus. Foster chipped in, kept in by Suga Sawara. Wilson looking for the stick of Stovall. Stovall tries to get it across, and coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam, takes a shot. Glove save by Kalmus. Excellent save by the Arkansas goaltender, but a great back check as well prevented him from really doing anything with it, able to force him into a wrist shot that Kalmus handles easily. With East Texas Baptist uh, a little bit down today as far as personnel, Philippe Soderstrom and Skyler Spiller are the guys that they're going to have to look to to get something going offensively. Well, the Tigers won the faceoff, but it somehow comes bounding down to their own defensive zone. Out to center ice, and Fletcher dumps it in once again on the stick of McLeroy. Sending near side, Soderstrom has it taken away by Sugasawara. Tried to make a toe drag move, couldn't get through the tra traffic. Soderstrom once again, left-handed stick, finds his man ahead. Back to Soderstrom, broken up nicely by Valdron. Excellent defensive plays by Arkansas. As this one is taken away, carried into the zone. Baird trying to find the stick of Van Gemmerden and cleared aside once again by Fletcher. On the stick of Stovall, sends a Hail Mary pass, cross ice, and Sugasawara puts on the brakes as Arkansas is going to look to make a change. 5.26 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone, dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was Riley Knott. Just a hustle play right there as Matthew Duncan dumps it in, wins the race to the puck as Kalmus couldn't get back in net and out of position, allows the goal to Riley Knott, notches his 35th of the year and his 74th point of the season. Not and he leads the Tigers in both those categories. That goal was not unlike a couple of their goals last night. They beat you behind the red line, behind the goal line, and then just center it right back in front. They've tried to do it a couple of times already today, and this time Kalmus just can't get from the back of the net back to the front in time to, to stop the oncoming rush. Face off won by the Tigers, they dump it in, but it's gonna be controlled by Odeline. Arkansas looking to set up the breakout, Odeline not afraid to skate it himself, nice backhand pass ahead to Valentini, dumps it in the zone, this one chipped on net, steered aside by Domus. Valentini gets to it. Riley was looking for a wraparound, loses the puck, being pushed into the boards, as Baird takes a big hit from Odeline, but the puck Comes bouncing out to center ice, picked up by Duncan. Duncan tries to make a stopping move, but forced off nicely by Valentini. DeGuire controlling the puck now, pressured by Knott. DeGuire tried a near side pass. This one's going to have to be played off the boards by Valentini, but the Tigers able to chip it into the zone. And it comes back the other way. Patterson chasing down McLeod. McLeod sends it up the boards, chipped out to center ice once again. The Tigers really struggling, breaking out of their own zone. McAtee sends this ahead to Ellis. Ellis is just going to flip it in far side. Gottlieb chases it down to, and puts a big hit on the man, almost put him into his own bench. And Arkansas pushes it into the zone once again. Gottlieb being forced outside by Spiller. Gottlieb on his backhand, turns it around now, tries to get a shot away. He does. Rebound loose in front, still sitting there. Unable to clear it. Taken away again, and another turnover. And the Tigers get it in deep. 3.42 to play. 2-1 to one Arkansas, controlled by Cameron McAtee. Behind his own cage. He'll find Ellis. Ellis, cross-eyes pass. Gottlieb is going to chip it in. Takes a hit for his efforts. This one's going to be flipped out of the zone. Gathered in by McAtee. 3.25 to play. This one flipped in. Shoulder save for Domus. 
And Spiller tries a stick handling move. McLean pokes it away from him. Carried into the zone. Finds McLean out in front. Has to settle it down there. Gets a wrist shot away, but blocked in front by Spiller. He sends it near side, and McAtee's going to have to retreat into his own zone to chase his puck down. And as Wiggins was racing towards the puck, just crosses the goal line, and they're going to blow it dead for an ice. With three minutes to play, Arkansas nursing a one-goal lead. As you called, not Riley not with the goal. That assist by Matthew Duncan, and it's 2-1 to one with three minutes exactly to go here in the first period. Arkansas uh, looks like they're playing pretty well. They're up 16-6. to six. They're losing the faceoff battle as they did most of last night. East Texas Baptist is just a better faceoff team. And a big one here for the Hogs is Kieser does win it to the sideboards. McLean is going to dump it in deep. Picked up by Salmon. Salmon finds a stick of McLean, steps out to the faceoff dot, back to the point. Valdron back to McLean, couldn't handle it. As Kieser gathers it behind the cage, try to backhand pass. Spiller chips it ahead, picked up by Salmon once again. Salmon skates it in, has it bounce off his stick, just chips it to the stick of Valdron, gets a shot away, tipped in front, and Puck was sitting on the doorstep, but nobody able to bang it home for the Hogs. Valdron trying to keep it in, can't. Kieser picks it up, has a stick handle in his own zone. He's got Soderstrom on him, leaves it. Cross eyes pass to Skier, finds McLean. McLean skates it into the zone, gets a wrist shot away, misses the net wide. Kieser, Kieser gather, gathers it near side. That one chipped in front. McLean nearly put it in the back of the net. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot. That one goes up and out of play. I think he just got a little bit too much of that one. And we're going to get a face off with 2.03 to play. Arkansas, one goal lead. Both teams look to make a change. It's going to be a face off to the right side of Domus. And Suga Sawara is going to be out there to take it against Riley Knott. One to the sideboards. Controlled by Suga Sawara. Into the corner, Stovall. Being pushed into the boards by Bierney. A battle for it there. Bierney shovels it ahead. Back to the point. Aguirre dumps it in deep. Finds a stick of Kieser. Or excuse me, Stovall. Stovall couldn't get a shot away. Back to Odelani. He's going to dump it in deep. And Bierney gathers it in for East Texas Baptist. Chipped out of the zone into the skates of the linesman. Unfortunate for the Tigers. As the Hogs dump it back in. Wilson chips it ahead to himself. Wilson being forced wide. Tried to get a, a pass out in front. Nobody was home. Taken away by Duncan. This one gloved down at center ice by Odeline. Takes a big hit from Baird. And Duncan is going to dump it in as Baird chases it down. 1.15 to play. Odeline tries it far side. Duncan. Gets it to the stick of Baird. Baird finds a stick of a hog player. As Stovall takes it away, dumps it off the boards. This one goes up and hits an Arkansas player's glove sitting on the bench. And we'll get a whistle once again. A minute 0 02 to play here in the first period. We talked last night about after Fitzgerald got pulled for the Tigers, their starting goalie, and Bazzuto came in, gave them two good periods. We were wondering, do you go back to Fitzgerald or do you stick with Bazzuto? Then Today we get Domus, yeah, who is curveball. done. He's, he's uh, accounted for himself pretty well. 14 saves here in the first period. Does have a 9.02 save percentage this season. As Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away. Save, rebound was there, and quickly covered up by Domus. I mentioned it earlier. That's one thing I'm seeing from him. He is making those initial saves, but really not controlling those rebounds well, and it did lead to one of the goals for Arkansas. And, uh, if he doesn't shore that up or if he doesn't have some uh, defenders sitting on the doorstep to clear those out, uh, could run into some trouble. I think it's already led to one goal. Yep. Face off once again won by the Tigers, but controlled by Arkansas. Gottlieb steps out in front, takes a shot saved by Domus. Rebound is there, cleared to the near side boards, and the Tigers are going to break out of the zone. Soderstrom flips it ahead. Van Gimmer to chase it down. Kalmus nicely pokes it away. On the stick of Foster, outlet pass, Gottlieb. He's got... Ellis with him, finds the stick of Patterson, who gets it in deep. Spiller is going to pick it up there. It sends it near side, but this one's going to find the stick of McAtee. McAtee gets a, a shot, couldn't get it through traffic. Picked up by Ellis, misses the net wide. 15 seconds to play, Sean Foster. Stick handles deep into the zone. Being patient with it, absorbs the hit from Spiller. Backhand pass, Patterson gets a shot away, but a good block in front by Wiggins with five seconds to play. 
And it's going to be dumped in deep. Spiller lined up Gottlieb for a hit. And this one's going to be gloved down by Spiller at center ice. But the buzzer blows on the first period. And just like last night, Arkansas will take a lead into the first intermission. Although last night was a three-goal lead. Tonight, just a one goal. Two to one, I'd say as from the Arkansas standpoint, you like that you got a couple on the board. You like that you've got 18 shots. Uh, but from the East Texas Baptist standpoint, you might like where you are a little better. Like you said, they're two goals closer and they made up that three goal deficit yesterday, almost all the way. Uh, so uh, East Texas Baptist has to be pretty pleased with how they played in the first period, uh, despite only getting six shots. I would expect so, and uh, I'm sure both teams look to get fired up in the locker room. Arkansas has got a lot of shots, uh, just really uh, need to try to look to bury some of those rebounds that, that Domus is leaving there for him. And uh, uh, the one goal for East Texas Baptist came when Kalmus was a little bit out of position. So, um, you know, try to manufacture some goals if they can, lean on some of their, their goal scorers with Knott, uh, Spiller, Van Gemmerd, and, and really try to get uh, some points on the board. Well, you've got to beat your guy back to the post on that. I know he's coming with a full head of steam, but somebody's got to come back and get the, to the post that the, that the guy is going to. And if he switches posts on you and you're on the inside, he's got to go farther to get to the other side of the, the other post. So you, all you've got to do is get there to your goalie and defend the guy, keep him from getting those. They've had too many of those chippy type opportunities where all they've got to do is bang it in. And that one, I can't, I can't hang that on Kalmus too much. I mean, he, he just couldn't get back fast enough. And credit to East Texas Baptist. Their forward got there quick, threw it out in front. And it's two to one. So we'll be back in about 14 minutes with a call of the second period. Arkansas leads East Texas Baptist two to one. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout Northwest Arkansas including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at bofidi'stastynuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Slow save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone, gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front. But they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle. Kick save. Rebound. Score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. Good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird, who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone. Gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. 
Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. A good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird, who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone. Gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front. But they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle. Kick save. Rebound. Score! Knocked out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. Good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird, who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone. Gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front. But they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle. Kick save. Rebound. Score! Knocked out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. Good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird, who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone. Gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front. But they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle. Kick save. Rebound. Score! Knocked out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. Good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. 
Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away. Save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away. And somehow Domus pinches. Wait. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone, gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front, puck gets loose, score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass, shot gets away, good save by Domus, and he's gonna cross, and coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam, takes a shot, glove save! By 5.26 to play, as Duncan carries it out of his own zone, dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck, and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Right. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in, a dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis, carries it into the zone, gets a shot away, this one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front, puck gets loose, score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass, shot gets away, good save by Domus, and he's gonna cross, and coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam, takes a shot, glove save! By 5.26 to play, as Duncan carries it out of his own zone, dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck, and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Right. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in, a dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis, carries it into the zone, gets a shot away, this one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front, puck gets loose, score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass, shot gets away, good save by Domus, and he's gonna cross, and coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam, takes a shot, glove save! By 5.26 to play, as Duncan carries it out of his own zone, dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck, and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and then it goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away, and somehow Domus pinches. Play. Near side pass, nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in, a dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis, carries it into the zone, gets a shot away, this one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over a thousand quality homes throughout Northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville, and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. 
RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs. Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set for the second period of action between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the East Texas Baptist University Tigers. The Hogs lead this one two to one. As Arkansas takes the ice, led by their goaltender, Alex Kalmus. And the Tigers take the ice, led by Alex Domas. My name is Corey Porter, alongside me, Rich Sanders, Quinn Shields, and EJ Sanders. And a tip of the hat to our uh, comrade, EJ Sanders, this is the long, change period. Mm -hmm. Have to throw that in there. Scoring in the first period, Arkansas got on the board. Goal by Patterson. Kyle Patterson at 11.03 from Tyler Valdron and Dakota Gottlieb put Arkansas up one to nothing. And like Arkansas has done all weekend, the goals have come in pairs. It's just last night they came with two pairs. And then in the third period came with three pairs. Uh, today, only one pair of goals. Uh, Scored first by Patterson to make it one nothing, and then uh, Jordan Deskier at 11:28 made it two to nothing on his goal on the assist from Chris Stovall. East Texas Baptist on a goal that we've reviewed extensively to see how you can prevent it from happening in the future gets its goal at the 14:45 mark to make it two to one. That goal by Riley Knott. And it was his 35th of the year, 74 points for Knott. And the assist by Matthew Duncan on a great hustle play. And as we did review it, it was just plain old. He beat everybody to the puck by plenty. And that gave yeah. him the opportunity to get the assist. Yeah, I think Arkansas just stood around watching, thinking Kalmans was going to be able to uh, do something with that puck. But really, you don't want to put him in that position to have to make a play, especially when you got a, a guy like Duncan closing in on you. He's got 35 points himself, and he finds a 70-point scorer. Uh, who ever, everybody just kind of stood around, let him walk through the defense as well. So um, I don't know if they pull up the, the reviews, the, the videos in the locker room, but there, there's definitely some learning points on that one. But it looks like the, the linesmen are trying to repair a little bit of the ice in front of the East Texas Baptist bench. So we'll take a moment to thank our broadcast sponsors, RLP Home Builders, family owned and operated. They have been helping build Northwest Arkansas for over a decade. And Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, a veteran owned gourmet snack company with a passion for quality snacks, good friends, and great times. A portion of every purchase goes to small veteran charities in need. Use the code HOGHOCKEY for 10% off your purchase today. Please check out the YouTube description below for links to both of these companies. I brought, brought some of the kamikaze wasabi bombs wasabi from both of these. Wasabi bombs. We last had night. those last night. Oh, they, they're pretty good. They're good. And they vary, which uh, that's not a complaint. Yeah. I think that's a great thing that they vary. It's with, kind of exciting. You're like, oh, no, this was not the one I wanted to just try and gulp down. Yep. Yeah, I think they're, they're based out of Houston, Texas as well, a company owned by uh, a former veteran, and, and uh, one of them is uh, currently still serving in the military and they do a lot of great work with small veteran charities so uh definitely check them out and again use that code hog hockey i did i got the the kamikaze wasabi bombs and i tried some of the texas pokey bait as well and uh those were some candied pecans and excellent god bless our veterans and for those who help them i think we may have the ice back to what it should be
And we'll get a center ice faceoff. It's going to be Van Gemmerden to face off against Chris Stovall, who has not got thrown out of a faceoff circle yet this evening. But he does not win the faceoff as Van Gemmerden got it back to his defensive partner. And a battle for it in the neutral zone. Arkansas sends it far side, McAtee. McAtee stick handles, throws it off the boards, chases it down, and this one is going to go for an icing. As we often talk about the size of the rink here at the Jones Center, the neutral zone, a little bit smaller than, uh, than you'd expect. So a lot of the times when you're trying to dump and chase like that, you really got to get deep and get over that center red line. And McAtee did not on that play. So face off to the right of Alex Kalmus. Once again, Stovall against Van Gemmerden. Both right-handed sticks. This one finally controlled by Arkansas. They throw it off the boards. Glove down by Soderstrom. He takes a body from Stovall and just throws it deep. Gathered in by Foster. Flipped out to center ice. Wilson chasing it down with McLeod. Picked up by Soderstrom. Sends it near side, Van Gimmerden. He's got a head of steam up the right side. Finds a man in front. Soderstrom, backhand shot. Saved by Kalmus. Rebound gathered in by Foster. Chips it ahead. This one kept into the zone. Quick turnaround shot. Misses the net wide. As Foster gathers it in once again. Stick handling move, but lost the puck along the way. Glove down and ahead to Van Gemmerden, and they're going to call a hand pass. As Soderstrom was trying to get it down to himself. Batted it just a little far forward, and we get a whistle with 18.58 to play. Arkansas with a 2-1 to one lead. The Tigers of Marshall, Texas. They've got Philippe Soderstrom with three of their seven shots, and he's one of the ones I think Arkansas has got to keep an eye on here. Keezer wins the faceoff for Arkansas. Near side to Guire. Now to Odeline. Finds Deguire once again. Centering pass, finds Keezer breaking into the zone. Has it poked away from him. Nice defensive play. They do get it out to center ice, but gathered in by Odeline. He'll send it hard off the boards. Coming out to play it is Domus. He leaves it there for Stevenson. Had a miscommunication with Spiller in Arkansas. Chips it into the corner. Battle for it there, Salmon. He's got it on his stick. Steps out in front. Gets a shot away. Save in front by Domus. Duncan picks up the rebound, and he has it taken away from him by Salmon once again. This one comes near side, Stevenson. Can't get it out, Arkansas controls it once again on the stick of Trevor McLean. Gets a shot away, hit the outside of the post. And Baird takes a hit as he tries to get it out. Sent far side corner now, picked up by Spiller. Long cross ice pass offside once again. That's the second time to Riley not, or excuse me, Riley not. That happened in the first period as well where he was cherry picking deep and a long pass found his stick, but he was in the zone ahead of the play. So unfortunate there, and Arkansas is really going to have to look out for that long pass. I bet that's a bigger part of their game on bigger ice where they can get a little bit of speed going. Uh, the pass has been awfully close. He's just got to stay on side before he gets it. This one won to the stick of Stevenson, sends it off the board, Soderstrom. Left-handed stick up the left wing. Tries to put it between the legs of Jordan Deskier, but he says no, but it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in, quick wrist shot, and he scores! Skyler Spiller, the senior out of South Lake, finds the back of the net. Turnover at center ice by Arkansas leads to the game-tying goal for East Texas Baptist. Spiller's been pretty quiet today until that shot, but there was no stopping that one. Earmarked for the top corner. And we've got a 2-2 brand new game. Just 2-10 into the second period. And the second period belonged to East Texas Baptist last night. And they're going to try and see if they can repeat that performance. Nick Valentini wins a faceoff. To skier near side, Valdron. Makes a move around a man into the zone. Force on the near side. Looks to make a pass. He just has to wheel one around as the battle for it happens down in the left side corner. Still fighting for the puck. Deacon in there. Gets it back to the point. Valdron, cross ice pass, finds Deskier. Deskier loads up a shot. Rebound came out in front. I don't think that made it through the traffic, and it's going to be carried out of the zone by Baird, who loses it at center ice. 
Puck dumped in for Arkansas. Picked up by Valentini. Centering pass. Nobody there. And the, the net comes off of its moorings. Oh, it was Riley was crashing towards the net, but unable to get a stick on the puck as he was tied up nicely. Looked like McLeroy. Good pass there by Valentini, just unable to execute. No room to get it to his target there. Riley was there. So was East Texas Baptist defense. It's going to be Gottlieb to take the face off against Knott, the left side of Domus. Going to the side boards. Controlled by Duncan. Duncan skates it ahead into the zone. Tries to make a move around McAtee, but he can't. McAtee controls it. Pass on the near side. Back to the point, though. Shot through traffic, tipped in front. And it comes to the far side now. On the stick of Baird. He kicks it ahead. McAtee makes a move around a man. He's got Ellis streaking, but he finds Gottlieb near side instead. Quick shot, rebound was sitting on the doorstep. Arkansas tried to wheel one in front. That was Gottlieb, but taken away. This one back to the point, McAtee. Steps down below the goal line, sharp angled shot, hit his own man in front, picks up the rebound, tries to wrap around, but good job hugging the post by Alex Domas. And he covers up for the whistle, 16-24, left here in the second. East Texas Baptist off to a good start this period, winning the faceoffs 4-1, and for the game, leading 14-8, and the shots are even this period 3-3. It was last night, they had a 19-9 advantage in shots. Most of the, sh Arkansas had a good share of shots, but just didn't put many on net in the second period. And another face-off win for the Tigers, but Arkansas controls it now. Back to Foster, steps out in front, near side, Stovall, Stovall. That's the dance around a man, takes it in deep, wheels around once again, tries to get it back to Wilson, intercepted by Dorham, but Foster controls it in his own zone, finds Wilson near side, feeds it to McAtee, Tries the outlet pass, just has to be chipped ahead. It's going to be chased down by Sugasawara. Sugasawara tried to put a hit on McLeod, but lost his footing. And a battle for it on the near side boards. And this one, potential icing, and they will blow it dead. 15-44 to play. And Arkansas, as you mentioned, really not faring well in the face-off category, but once you get these offensive zone face-offs, it's really important that you try to win them and get control of that puck if you want to get shots on net. Speaking of controlling the puck, my AARP moment here, Sean Foster is the, one of the guys, when he gets the puck, I have all the confidence in the world that we're going to get the puck out of the zone. DeGuire loads up a shot, kick save by Domus. And this one shoveled ahead by Shea. He takes a huge hit from Odeline. This one goes all the way down the ice for an icing call. And Shea slow to get up after taking the body from Odeline. Good clean hit. And we'll get a, get a face off. Gonna go ahead and uh, jinx the clean game we've had so far here. There have been no penalties. And we're 24 minutes and 26 seconds. I don't know who we can <laughs> give credit to on that, but uh, I do know that when the penalty is called, I will be the one that is blamed for it. Yeah, a little bit of a short leash at times last night from the referee. Call it a choker. Face off was won by Arkansas. They got a shot away, but it was blocked in front. This one flipped up and out of play as Fletcher catches it. Another offensive zone face off for Arkansas. ETBU will get a fresh line out on the ice, as will the Hogs. They're going to send out Stovall, Wilson, Sugasawara. Stovall, the right handed stick. It's going to have Odeline lined up behind him there. And Arkansas controls it back to Odeline. He's going to dump it in off the leg of Wilson. And this one shoveled ahead to Soderstrom. Across the Arkansas blue line into the slot. Quick shot and a save by Alex Kalmus. Put it right into his belly. And no rebounds on this side of the ice. And we've got 35 minutes left in this game. It's 2-2. Two to two. And I'm going to go ahead and say right now how important this game is for Arkansas. Uh, last night doesn't matter anymore if you can't beat them two in a row here. And the Razorbacks are going to have to continue to work hard and get some more shots uh, to uh, put this sweep away. 
Puck controlled, carried in by Soderstrom once again, one-on-one, -on -one, gets another shot, puts it right into the belly. Another save by Kalmus. Rebound was cleared to the sideboards. As the Tigers try to dump it in deep once again, they do get it to the stick of Soderstrom. He's being forced wide, a good check by DeGuire, but regaining the puck momentarily at least was Soderstrom, and this outlet pass finds a stick of Wilson near side Sugasawara. He steps in, backhand pass Stovall outside, gets the streaking defender. DeGuire makes a move around a man, Patient with it, patient, drops it back to Stovall. Nobody back on defense for Arkansas. Quick shot off the post, and this one cleared out of the zone, controlled by Odeline. Good chance there for the Hogs. As Arkansas controls it once again, cross ice pass far side. Sugasawara has a bounce off his stick. He dumps it in, finds a stick of Spiller, sends it far side. This one finds Valdron. Valdron tried to spin around and shield his man off, but it's taken away by Stevenson. He's going to flip this one all the way down the ice, and we'll get a whistle. And Arkansas has spent a lot of time getting face-offs down on this offensive zone, and uh, I think they've won the last couple. Well, and a lot of East Texas Baptist offense comes from taking the puck all the way down the ice. I mean, Soderstrom got a quick giving him one-on-one -on -one opportunities with him and a defenseman and the goaltender. He's got four or five shots now, and uh, it, it's, it scares you to think that he may find the range here in a minute. Another face-off win for Arkansas. Salmon finds Kieser below the goal line just ahead of him. Has to spin around, tries to get it out in front. His shot bounces up. Glove down by Kieser. Couldn't get the shot on net. Back to Valdron. Has it bouncing around. Block shot in front. They find the stick of Duncan. Duncan being forced wide. Great back check by Alex Kieser, the captain. Playing two ways. As Fletcher picks it up for the Hogs. Takes a big hit right under the chin from Riley. Or excuse me, from Spiller, and Spiller streaking, calling for the puck. Finally does get it. Makes a move around a man, but a good play by Valdron. Slows him up. Spiller still gets it. Gets a shot away. Save by Kalmus. He thought he had it. Shoots, and he scores. I think Spiller's shot hit the post. The way it ricocheted, I think it hit the right post. It looks like Duncan may have gotten the goal. Well, Kalmus kind of south froze like he thought he might have had the puck, and it came near side. And Duncan just wide open, finds the back of the net. He's got two points today with an assist on Knott's goal, and now gets a goal of his own, and Arkansas finds himself trailing for the first time this weekend. There's your wake-up call, Razorbacks. Down 3-2 with 13.24 to go in the second period. But to Arkansas's credit, they've really battled back in several games this year. But they got their work cut out for them this afternoon as Valentini gets it in deep, throws it in front of the net, puck covered up. Lost it for a second. Valentini comes crashing in once again. And Domus able to quickly pounce on that one, cover it up. And once again, an offensive zone faceoff for Arkansas. Deacon, Riley, Valentini, Foster, McAtee for Arkansas. Looks like Baird, not Soderstrom. Excuse me, that's Bierney for the Tigers. Face off controlled by Arkansas. This is Deacon. Dumped in by Foster. Finds a stick of Riley. Tries to send it out in front. This one bouncing down the ice. Controlled by Foster. He's got a head of steam. Loses the puck. Picked up by Knott. Not tried to get a centering pass. He gets it back on his stick. Another centering pass. Kick saved by Kalmus and cleared out to the blue line as Bierney keeps it in. Dumps it in deep. A big hit by Valentini. And Arkansas is going to skate it out. Valentini's pass broken up. Sent the other way. Foster near side McAtee. He likes to skate it up himself. This time he'll get it over the red line. Dump it in. It's going to be Riley chasing it down. Puts a body on McLeroy. And the Tigers dump it out once again. McAtee has a streaking Shea right in his hip pocket. Puts on the brakes, loses him. Off the boards, glove down at the blue line. That was not. Back now to Bierney. Bierney gets a shot through. Might have hit the stick of Kalmus, but sails wide. 12.08 to play. This one bounces out in front, cleared by Arkansas. And it's going to be Ellis trying to chase the puck down. It just stops at the blue line. So Ellis will have to clear the offside. Battle for it right in front of the Arkansas bench. Dumped in. Bounces over the stick of McLeroy. Finds his man far side. Taken away by Ellis. Ellis patient with it. Finds his man in front. Couldn't get enough on it as Patterson was wide open. 
Excellent find, a big hit in the corner by Gottlieb. But it's sent far side by Dorham. Tries to find Shea, picked up by Patterson. Finds Gottlieb in front. Gottlieb around a man, forced wide. Back to the point, Foster. Foster, patient, gets a shot through, tipped in front. And steered to the near side corner, Patterson now. 11.20 to play. Back to the point to Foster. Foster, another wrist shot, gets it through. Blocker save, rebound in front. The second chance by Ellis, the save by Domus. And the Tigers dump it off a stanchion, bounces out in front. Arkansas is going to dump it in deep once again. Ellis fighting McLeroy for it. McLeroy sends it near side. And DeGuire is going to pinch in. Gets through a hit, dumps it in deep. It's going to be Bierney playing it to the near side now. Battle for it. In the near side corner, DeGuire, a little bit of a cross check. He's got leave, changes, gets Sugasawara out on the ice. Back to Wilson, settles it down. Wilson finds Odeline, far side, Odeline finds Sugasawara in front. Passes it back out. Wilson now near side, 10.37 to play. Back to the point, DeGuire, just ahead of his man. Sharp angled shot, misses the net by Stovall and finally clear, clears the zone. Good offensive pressure from Arkansas. They're going to dump it in deep. Stovall chases it down. Back to the point. Odeline, patient. Back to Stovall. Back to Odeline. Great pass. Wrist shot through everything. Misses the net wide. Picked up. Steps out in front. And we get a whistle. And I think the net came off its moorings as it did. Slows Arkansas up a bit. And East Texas Baptist finally able to get a change as they were out there for a good two minutes during that Arkansas rush. Well, the Razorbacks have awakened, and there's no way that the Tigers will be able to uh, withstand 30 minutes of this. I don't know that Arkansas can put 30 minutes of this together, but this is the best Arkansas has been offensively this weekend. Uh, the hardest work they put in at the offensive end anyway. Too many of the goals uh, last night came too easily. They got too many in bunches. Uh, they're having to work for it today, and if they keep working, they're going to they're gonna have some success. It's going to be Van Gemmerden against Chris Stovall. Stovall wins it ahead, gets a shot away, but it's steered wide. Sent far side, sharp angled shot to Skier out in front, and somehow sneaks under the pad of Domus, and he holds on for the whistle. Interesting shot there from Deskier, able to get it on net. 24 saves for Domus, Alex Domus, doing the job here for the Tigers. Face off once again, Chris Stovall is going to get thrown out. You called it, it was yeah. in the first period it's a matter you of, called it. It's a matter of time. <laughs> He's aggressive, tries to get a jump start. That's going to be Wilson to take it, but he'll lose it. This one poked ahead by Soderstrom, Valdron having to race it down and he chips it into the ETBU bench. Definitely on a deflection. Dangerous play for Arkansas as they couldn't handle it at the blue line. Well, there's Soderstrom again. Yeah, he's got some speed for sure. He's not done yet neither today. He's gonna keep on after the Razorbacks on those loose pucks down in the offensive zone. Face off one by Van Gimmerden. But taken by Arkansas, they get it out of the zone. Sugasawara picks it up. He's just going to dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domus. Being pressured, Sugasawara gets to it. Sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away. Tipped in front. Score! Cristovo! And Arkansas ties it up with 9.36 to play. That all started with Suga Sawara getting it in deep. Back to the point of Aldrin. He threw the puck at the net. It was tipped, I believe, by Wilson. Was. And that rebound just came right out to the open side of the net. And Chris Stovall, right place, right time, buries it. And Arkansas ties the game at three. Excellent description. That's exactly what happened. Valdron again, who's been good this weekend, gets the shot toward the net. Wilson deflects it away to the open side. And Arkansas has tied the game. The Hogs dump it in. Caught there by Domus. Holds on for the whistle. And once again, Arkansas has been living on this end of the ice. 
And it's going to be an offensive zone face off to the left side of Dome. It's 9.28 to play here in the second period. It's going to be Alex Kieser against Riley Knott. Face off, one to the sideboard. Salmon dumps it in deep. Stevenson, he's got Kieser on him, gets it up the near side boards. And bounces to Spiller. Spiller finds Duncan, tries to chip it ahead. Foster almost had it taken away from him by Baird. Foster absorbs a big hit in the corner. And it's going to be gathered in by Duncan. Duncan takes a big hit from Foster. Foster tries to shovel it ahead, but a battle for it on the near side. Nobody able to come away with it just yet. Referee watching it closely. Finally, Arkansas comes away with it. They get it to McAtee. They'll switch it to the far side. Outlet pass McLean one-on-one. -on -one. Makes a move around Stevenson. Chips it on net and a good save by Domus. What a move by Trevor McLean. Just couldn't get enough on it. All he could do was chip it right into the pads of Domus. But an excellent play from Arkansas. Digging it out in the corner. Winning the, the battles along the boards. And a great outlet pass. McLean, he's got wheels from Prosper, Texas. It's going to be Kieser once again against Knott. Knott wins a faceoff. McLeroy to Bierney. Bierney tries to go far side. Tied up behind the net. This is Salmon battling for it. In comes McLean. He pokes it ahead. Salmon. Salmon, outlet pass off the stick of Duncan as he was looking for Kieser. Back to the point. Quick shot tipped in front. Couldn't get through the traffic. Back to McAtee once again. He'll dump it in deep. Finds a stick of Salmon. McLean now. Outlet pass or centering pass. Picked up now by Salmon. Backhand. Couldn't get it through the traffic. And it's going to be backhanded ahead once again. Picked up by Baird. McAtee cuts him off and takes the puck away. Being pressured. McAtee makes a move. Kicks it to his stick. Gets it in. Dumps it in deep. Arkansas will make a change. Just under eight to play here in the second period. As this one will go for an ice. Just missed Wiggins on the outlet pass. And Arkansas once again will get a faceoff down at this end. That really hurts East Texas Baptist as well because it is the long change period. And as much time as Arkansas has been spinning down at this, this side of the ice, it's been tough for them to get fresh legs out on the ice. And I think that's contributed to, uh, to some of the play here recently. Face off to the sideboards. Bierney tries to poke it into the corner. Comes out, finds a stick of Knott. Knott flips it in. Slowed up there by Kalmus. Finds Odeline. Odeline outlet pass. Finds Riley, but couldn't handle it. Dumped in deep by Soderstrom. Deguire, Odeline, shovels it along. Van Gemmerden. Van Gemmerden finds Wiggins. Out to the point. Bierney gets a shot away. Save, rebound. Was loose for a moment, but gathered in quickly by Kalmus. Perhaps it, it might have been a quick whistle, but did have Bierney, or excuse me, that was Soderstrom streaking towards that side of the net. Face off to the left side of Kalmus, 7.27 to play. And that's Kalmus, his credibility and goal, too. He hasn't given up rebounds. I think that's what sometimes will lead a referee to say he's got that, where at the other end, uh, the rebounds have been a plentiful. Face off one by Arkansas. DeGuire tries to get it out, but it was batted up into the air. No hand pass on the play. Dumped into the corner. It's going to be Riley against Wiggins. Bigger man wins the battle as Arkansas gets it out to the blue line, but kept in. On the stick of Lang. He steps in. Toe drag move. Shovel pass ahead, but Lang's going to pick it up once again. Finally does find the stick of Soderstrom. Centering pass. Hits the skate of Riley and steered to the corner, and he chips it up and into the ETBU bench. And we'll get another whistle, and Arkansas will get some fresh legs out on the ice. 6.56 to play. Great hockey game here today at the Jones Center in Springdale. Two outstanding teams. East Texas Baptist may be ranked a little lower than it should be, and Arkansas ranked number one in Division Three, putting on a show today. Quick shot off the faceoff, saved by Kalmus. Once again, faceoffs leading to good things for the Tigers. ETBU is a Division II team. Arkansas is Division III, but do have a number of Division I players, as we've talked about. As this team was combined in the offseason, another face-off win. Couldn't get the shot away on that one. Patterson, outlet pass. 
Taken by the Tigers. This is Soderstrom being stood up by Ellis as Patterson takes a hit and loses the puck. Wiggins with it. Off the near side boards. Ellis steps in front, though. Tries a toe drag move. Gets it around him. Centering pass. Couldn't find Patterson. And a streaking man. They get it off the boards to Wiggins. And Wiggins has Van Gemmerden, but he takes the shot instead. Steered aside by Kalmus. Back to the stick of Wiggins. Sends it down low. Valdron takes it for Arkansas. Off the boards. Ellis tries to get it out. Can't. Dumped in deep once again. Fletcher has Van Gemmerden on him. Van Gemmerden wins the battle. Finds the stick of his man, Soderstrom, back to the point. Gets a shot, McLeod, saved by Kalmus. And no rebound, given up once again. He's looked sharp tonight. Arkansas able to get a change. 16 saves tonight, today, for Kalmus. Doing a good job in net, but more saves at the other end by Domus who has seen 29 shots in 26 saves. It's gonna be Dorham against Chris Stovall, perhaps. Do get a puck drop, and it's gonna be controlled by Arkansas as McAtee skates it behind his own cage. Good pass up the boards, Wilson chips it ahead. Stovall steers a man off, puts another body on him. Wilson couldn't control it though as McAtee with a dangerous play, chipping in. And this one tipped on near the net. Foster sends it near side. Picked up now by Stovall. He's got both men with him, takes a shot, blocked in front by Shea. Stovall missed the rebound, and this one hits the referee, slows it up nicely for McLeroy. Carried in by Shea, he's gonna backhand it in deep, but puts on the brakes as he goes to the bench to make a change, controlled by McAtee for the Hogs. McAtee. Skates it in himself, puts on the brakes. Tipped in front, that one hit the skate of Spiller. Changed directions, luckily missed the net for the Tigers. Foster finds his defensive partner, McAtee, near side. Gets it ahead to Suga Sawara. He's gonna skate it in himself. He's got Stovall and Wilson right with him. And McAtee chips it in himself, gets it down low, Stovall. Stovall on the goal line, steps out in front, tried to wrap it in but couldn't get the shot away. Stovall tried to send it back to the point, but intercepted. Carried ahead by Knott. He's just going to dump it in deep as Kalmus steers it aside. Leaves it there for McAtee. Finds Foster. Foster between the legs pass. Finds an outbreaking Suga Sawara. Tried to toe drag move. Lost it. Lost his glove in the process. But Foster is going to keep it in. He stood up by Spiller. And a battle for it in the corner on the near side boards. Knott comes away with it. Left-handed stick goes to the far side, 421 to play. Long outlet pass, this one bounces over the stick of Foster, and they're gonna call an icing. A little argument from the ETBU bench, and we'll see if they do take it all the way down, and they do. I don't blame them for the little argument. Yeah, it definitely didn't hit Foster, but should he have gotten it? Maybe. Just kind of bouncing pop, puck. Just barely over Into the, the period. Definitely need to clean the How about ice a bit. Foster and uh, McAtee. McAtee on the ice so much here in this yeah, period. I, I, I think really, it kind of really shows like the importance of this pairing, game. For sure. Yeah, McAtee not afraid to take it coast to coast either. You have the offensive defenseman and the uh, shutdown defensive defenseman. Yeah. And not gets thrown out of the face off circle. In comes Duncan. <laughs> And they're going to throw out Duncan as well. And the linesman discussing with the referee. They'll bring in Devin Baird. Spiller and Oda line having some words. Perhaps talking about what they're going to get for a uh, post game meal. And it looks like Baird is going to go to the penalty box. This will be the first penalty of the afternoon for either team. Uh, just had to be, uh, I think they tried to throw Knott out of the faceoff dot. And then Duncan tried to come in. They threw Duncan out. So it, uh, they're going to put Stevenson in as well and take Baird out. 
little musical chairs in the penalty box, and Baird's going to stay out on the ice as Stevenson is serving some kind of penalty. Hard to believe he was the one talking. Perhaps it's just a bench minor. I'm not sure, but either way, it's going to be a five-on-four for Arkansas. They don't have it up on the board just yet. Now they do, and Arkansas with the first power play of the game, an offensive zone faceoff, and I think we're finally going to get some hockey as Kieser face off, faces off against Knott. Knott wins it to the near side boards, kept it in the zone by Odeline. He's going to dump it in deep as he lost it momentarily. Into the corner, tied up by Salmon, picked out by Kieser. Now it's Odeline. He's got Valdron, far side of the ice. Offs for near side instead of Kieser. Gets it down low, steps out in front, chipped on net, just missed it wide as Salmon regains control. Back to Odeline. Odeline, patient with it, near side. Salmon back to Odeline, top of the point. Sends it down low, chipped in front, couldn't get it. And this one's going to be sent all the way down the ice. Just wide of the goal as Kalmus slows it down. A minute 25 left. And it's going to be Kieser carrying it in for Arkansas. Toe drag move. Steps out in front. Takes a shot. Save. Rebound was there. Cleared away nicely. Another shot. Couldn't get it through the traffic as it hit McLean in front. And Spiller gathers it in for the Tigers. McLean puts a stick on him. Not. Sends it all the way down the ice. Half this penalty gone for the Tigers. Arkansas with a couple nice rushes. They'll need another one here. Kieser takes a drop pass from Odeline. Carries it into the zone. Patient with it. Flips it off the boards to himself. Now finds Valdron. Valdron outside hash. Back to Kieser at the point. Got McAtee far side. McAtee fakes a shot near side. Kieser. Kieser being pressured by Knott. Kieser holds onto it to Valdron now. Top of the circle. Poor pass. Has to be settled down. Another shot tipped in front and wide of the net. As Bierney shelters Kieser off the puck. Gets it ahead to Knott. Knott. Tries to get around McAtee. McAtee held him up a little bit, trying to lift the stick. Not out in front. Far side. What a save by Kalmus. Ten seconds remaining on the Arkansas power play, and we got we got some uh, activity in the corner. And nine seconds remain on Stevenson's penalty as they sort out what's going on in the. Uh, the Arkansas corner, but what a save by Alex Kalmus. An excellent shorthanded play by Knott to get around McAtee, and he found his man far side, but an outstretched stick side blocker from Kalmus keeps so this a tied game. The best opportunity of the power play is they're shorthanded. They got a shorthanded goal last night. Still a five on four for Arkansas, but they find themselves with a defensive zone face off. Wiggins loses it to Stovall. And Arkansas is going to break out. Three seconds remain before we're five on five. Carried in by Stovall. He's got Sugasawara in front. Ops escape behind the net instead. Bierney gets it off of his stick. Soderstrom out of the box. Tries to find his man ahead, broken up by DeGuire. Off the boards, Wilson. Wilson looks for Stovall out in front, but gets through everybody. Good defensive play. This one sent ahead into the zone. Arkansas controls it. Cross ice pass broken up by Lang. Arkansas keeps it into the zone. This one chipped up. Glove down. Backhanded out of the zone, but controlled by the Hogs. This is Stovall with it. Backhand pass finds McAtee near side. He'll dump it in deep. It's going to go far side now. Bierney has Wilson on him, but he gets it ahead at Soderstrom. Chips it out of the zone. Controlled by the Hogs. McAtee on the feed from DeGuire. Finds Wilson. Wilson chips ahead to Sugasawara. Finds Wilson on the sauce pass. Tries to get out front, force wide. This one back to the point to Guire. Couldn't handle it. And coming back the other way, Van Gemmerden. He's got Soderstrom in the center of the ice. Takes the shot. Rebounded front. Shot another save by Kalmus. And the Hogs try to come back the other way. They do get it to DeGuire. The defenseman finds Sugasawara just ahead of his outstretched stick. And Sugasawara, the only remaining player from his line out on the ice. Controls the puck. Still with it. He'll leave it there. Patterson, near side, Valdron. Valdron chips it out in front. Couldn't direct it towards the net. Ellis with it in the corner. Ellis back to the point. This is Gottlieb. Has it poked away from him. Soderstrom coming back the other way. And Valdron with a hustle play. Dives and steers it to the near side boards. And we got a penalty <laughs> on Arkansas. It's going to be a slash on DeGuire. 
Looked like it was behind the play. With, with 36 seconds left in the second period, Arkansas is going to be shorthanded. They did give up a power play goal last night. It was a five on three opportunity for the Tigers. And a five on four man advantage here for East Texas Baptists. Face off one by Arkansas. Valdron gets into the corner. He's going to wheel it around far side and down the ice. Good face off win for Arkansas. He's going to kill off some of this penalty and some of the remainder of this second period as well. Skated ahead by Knott. He's pushed into the boards. Gets out in front. Bierney absorbs a hit and he's laying on top of his man, but Arkansas does clear it down the ice. And Bierney, Bierney is just pushing his man into the ice. And no whistle as the linesman and referee are all looking at what happened. I don't know how you don't make a call there, but we play on. Spiller, stick handles into the zone, backhand pass, or excuse me, backhand shot steered aside. And we got some chippiness in front. And Arkansas trying to keep themselves out of trouble. That's the that's a Hogs players tying up the other Hogs players saying, keep a cool head. Odeline. Well, this has been brewing since. Spiller and Odeline had words, the face off over there left of the East Texas Baptist goaltender. And then Spiller, when the when the face off finally was administered, Spiller comes over here and head hunts Odeline, and there's been something brewing here. Yeah, Spiller the captain. Having some words with Stovall. I, I mean it was a big hit in front of uh in front of the Arkansas net. On Odeline. On Odeline, and he just laid on the ice, and Bierney laid on top of him. It and, looked like everything, he was just he like was, trying to let him, him go. Up, but letting then, him up, and then as soon as Odeline trying to get up, with two linesmen and a referee all with, staring at him what, within and a Odeline five without, foot. without his stick laying on his back and his hands up, like I'm not doing anything. Yeah, just shoves him back into the ice. Coach Sims. Uh, and trying to plead his case right here. a good description of it right there from the coach. Yeah, I, I mean, saying that shouldn't happen. I mean, they're not going to go back and, and call a penalty on it. No. But either way, we go into the second intermission, tied 3-3. Three to three, And uh, 124 remaining on DeGuire slashing minor. So Arkansas will come out shorthanded. And uh, a lot of momentum the way of East Texas Baptist. But they're really getting this crowd into it. We did have some uh, ETBU a great uh, fans setup. in the building as well. But um, definitely a good Arkansas contingent in this home crowd, but getting them fired up, definitely against Spiller on the other side. Uh, I think he's playing hockey, he's playing good aggressive hockey, but um, you know, we'll let the refs call the game and Well, we'll that's part we'll of it happens. for players like that. They, if they know you, they're getting under your skin, they're gonna continue. And yeah. so they've kind of targeted Odeline for whatever reason, and Odeline can handle himself just fine. And Arkansas just needs to go in, recuperate. Too many times, uh, Arkansas playing much weaker opposition than this has kind of let that get to them. So the third period will be a good litmus test for uh, how much uh, since October, November, since we've seen them last, how much they've uh, matured as a team uh, to see if they can uh, refrain from these little things that, that are happening, the, the chippiness, and uh, don't let it get to them. Yeah, and I, I think the end of the period couldn't have come at a better time uh, for the sake of Arkansas really getting fired up and, and perhaps getting them into a position where they may get more penalties. Uh, now they get to go into the locker room and maybe channel some of that frustration and some of that energy into uh, positive hockey. So uh, we'll be back in about 14 minutes for the call of this third period. Don't go anywhere. Arkansas and East Texas Baptist University tied at three. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over a thousand quality homes throughout Northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs. Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. 
Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans, and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at bofidistastynuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Far side, sharp angled shot to Skier out in front and some dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domas. Being pressured, Sugasawara gets to it, sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away, tipped in front, score! To the far side, outlet pass McLean one on one, makes a move around Stevenson, chips it on net and a good save. And Gemmerden finds Wiggins out to the point, Bierney gets a shot away, save rebound was loose for a moment. Division three putting on a show today. Quick shot off the faceoff, saved by Kalman. Finds the stick of his man, Soderstrom, back to the point. Gets a shot, McLeod, saved by Kalman. Tries to get around McAtee. McAtee held him up a little bit, trying to lift the stick. Not out in front, far side, what a save! The other way, Van Gemmerden, he's got Soderstrom in the center of the ice, takes the shot, rebounded front, shot another save by Kalman. Scott Lee has it poked away from him. Soderstrom coming back the other way. And Valdron with a hustle play. Jordan Deskier, but he says no. But it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in, quick wrist shot, and he scores. That's center ice. Puck dumped in for Arkansas. Picked up by Valentini. Centering pass, nobody there. And the, the net comes off of its moorings. Steps down below the goal line, sharp angled shot. Hit his own man in front. Picks up the rebound, tries to wrap around, but good job hugging. And this one shoveled ahead to Soderstrom. Across the Arkansas blue line into the slot. Quick shot. And it makes a move around a man, but a good play by Valdron. Slows him up. Spiller still gets it. Gets a shot away. Save by Kalmas. He thought he had it. Shoots and he scores. Sent far side. Sharp angled shot to Skier out in front. And some dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domas. Being pressured. Sugasawara gets to it. Sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away. Tipped in front. Score! To the far side. Outlet pass McLean one on one. Makes a move around Stevenson. Chips it on net and a good save. And Gemmerden finds Wiggins. Out to the point. Bierney gets a shot away. Save rebound was loose for a moment. Division three putting on a show today. Quick shot off the faceoff. Save by Kalman. Finds the stick of his man Soderstrom. Back to the point. Gets a shot. McLeod. Save by Kalman. Tries to get around McAtee. McAtee held him up a little bit. Trying to lift the stick. Not. Out in front. Far side. What a save. The other way Van Gemmerden. He's got Soderstrom in the center of the ice. Takes the shot. Rebounded front. Shot another save by Kalman. Scott Lee has it poked away from him. Soderstrom coming back the other way. And Valdron with a hustle play. Jordan to skier, but he says no. But it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in. Quick wrist shot, and he scores. That's center ice. Puck dumped in for Arkansas. Picked up by Valentini. Centering pass. Nobody there. And the, the net comes off of its moorings. Steps down below the goal line. Sharp angled shot. Hit his own man in front. Picks up the rebound. Tries to wrap around, but good job hugging. And this one shoveled ahead to Soderstrom. Across the Arkansas blue line, into the slot, quick shot. And it makes a move around a man, but a good play by Valdron. Slows him up, Spiller still gets it, gets a shot away, save by Kalmas. He thought he had it, shoots, and he scores. Sent far side, sharp angled shot to Skier, out in front. And some dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domas. Being pressured, Sugasawara gets to it. Sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away, tipped in front, score! To the far side. Outlet pass McLean, one on one. Makes a move around Stevenson, chips it on net and a good save. And Gemmerden finds Wiggins. Out to the point, Bierney gets a shot away. Save, rebound was loose for a moment. Division three, putting on a show today. 
Quick shot off the faceoff, saved by Kalman. Finds the stick of his man, Soderstrom, back to the point. Gets a shot, McLeod, saved by Kalman. Tries to get around McAtee. McAtee held him up a little bit, trying to lift the stick. Not, out in front, far side, what a save! The other way, Van Gemmerden, he's got Soderstrom in the center of the ice, takes the shot, rebounded front, shot another save by Kalman. Scott Lee has it poked away from him. Soderstrom coming back the other way. And Valdron with a hustle play. Jordan Deskier, but he says no. But it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in. Quick wrist shot, and he scores. That's center ice. Puck dumped in for Arkansas. Picked up by Valentini. Centering pass. Nobody there. And the, the net comes off of its. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge Subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans, and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at bofidi'stastynuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away. And somehow Domus pinches. Near side pass. Nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick of knot. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has it's to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone. Gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front. But they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle. Kick save. Rebound. Score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front. Puck gets loose. Score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass. Shot gets away. Good save by Domus. And he's going to cross. And coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam. Takes a shot. Glove save by 526 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone. Dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and that one goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Jordan Deskier, but he says no, but it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in, quick wrist shot, and he scores. That's center ice. Puck dumped in for Arkansas, picked up by Valentini. Centering pass, nobody there, and the... The net comes off of its moorings. Steps down below the goal line, sharp angled shot, hit his own man in front, picks up the rebound, tries to wrap around, but good job hugging. And this one shoveled ahead to Soderstrom. Across the Arkansas blue line, into the slot, quick shot, and it makes a move around a man, but a good play by Valdron. Slows him up, Spiller still gets it, gets a shot away, save by Kalmus. He thought he had it, shoots, and he scores! Sent far side, sharp angled shot to Skier, out in front. And some dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domus. Being pressured, Suga Sawara gets to it. Sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away. Tipped in front. Score! It to the far side. Outlet pass McLean one on one. Makes a move around Stevenson. Chips it on net and a good save. And Gemmerden finds Wiggins. Out to the point. Bierney gets a shot away. Save rebound was loose for a moment. Division three putting on a show today. Quick shot off the faceoff, saved by Kalman. Finds the stick of his man, Soderstrom, back to the point. Gets a shot, McLeod, saved by Kalman. Tries to get around McAtee. McAtee held him up a little bit, trying to lift the stick. Not out in front, far side, what a save! The other way, Van Gemmerden, he's got Soderstrom in the center of the ice, takes the shot, rebounded front, shot another save by Kalman. Scott Lee has a poked away from him. Soderstrom coming back the other way. And Valdron with a hustle play. Finally get a full five as Kieser gets a shot away. And somehow Domus pinches. 
Near side pass, nicely finds Baird who dumps it in. Kalmus glove save. Duncan finds a stick and not. He just flips it in. A dangerous save for Kalmus as he has to take it away. Right away by Ellis. Carries it into the zone, gets a shot away. This one goes up and out of play. Patterson gets it in deep. Good physical play by the Tigers, forcing Arkansas from getting out in front, but they do find Valdron. Couldn't handle, kick, save, rebound, score! Out. Valdron ahead to Suga Sawara, who gets lined up for a hit. But I think he got the better of McLeod. This one centered in front, puck gets loose, score! This one comes out to Foster. Foster fakes a shot over to McAtee. McAtee gets one through traffic and a good save on Stevenson. An Arkansas centering pass, shot gets away, good save by Domus, and he's going to cross, cover. and coming back the other way is Soderstrom. He's got a head of steam, takes a shot, glove save! By 5.26 to play as Duncan carries it out of his own zone, dumps it in. Kalmus comes out to play it, but first man to the puck, and chipping it in the net was right. Out to the point, Valdron winds up a slap shot, and that one goes up and out of play. Arkansas brings it ahead with Ellis. Ellis, patient with it, gets a shot away, save, rebound was there. Jordan Deskier, but he says no, but it's picked up by Spiller. Carries it in, quick wrist shot, and he scores. That's center ice. Puck dumped in for Arkansas, picked up by Valentini. Centering pass, nobody there, and the, the net comes off of its moorings. Steps down below the goal line, sharp angled shot, hit his own man in front, picks up the rebound, tries to wrap around, but good job hugging. And this one shoveled ahead to Soderstrom. Across the Arkansas blue line, into the slot, quick shot, and it makes a move around a man, but a good play by Valdron. Slows him up, Spiller still gets it, gets a shot away, save by Kalmus. He thought he had it, shoots, and he scores. Sent far side, sharp angled shot to Skiri out in front, and some Dump it in. Coming out to play it is Domus, being pressured, Suga Sawara gets to it. Sends it back to Valdron. Valdron gets a shot away, tipped in front, score! To the far side. Outlet pass McLean, one on one. Makes a move around Stevenson, chips it on net, and a good. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout Northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville, and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build the suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans, and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at bofidi'stastynuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Welcome back to the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as we get set for the third period of action between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the East Texas Baptist University Tigers. We are all knotted at three, and Arkansas will start this third period down a man as Alex DeGuire serves his slashing minor. He has a minute 24 remaining on that penalty. As Arkansas takes the ice, my name is Corey Porter. Alongside me, Rich Sanders, Quinn Shields producing, EJ Sanders on camera. With his uh, throat wrapped with cold pack and yep. chewing on some lozenges down there. We had a, a valiant effort from our main play-by-play -play man last night with the it, sore throat. It was an effort anyway. Today. It was an effort. I don't know what dad really thinks about it, but we'll talk about it later. Yeah. As we get set for face-off, We'd like to take a moment to thank our broadcast sponsors, RLP Home Builders, family owned and operated. They have been helping build Northwest Arkansas for over a decade. And Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, a veteran owned gourmet snack company with a passion for quality snacks, good friends and great times. A portion of every purchase goes to small veteran charities in need. Use the code HOGHOCKEY for 10% off your purchase today. Please check out the YouTube description below for links to both of these companies. 
Arkansas has their work cut out for them. As they will be down a man. And we've had a tied first period at two to two, a tied second period as one goal apiece. Leaves us at three to three. Well, Arkansas won the first period two to one and oh, East Texas right. Baptist for the second day in a row won the second period two to one. Thank you for that correction. As Arkansas wins the shorthanded faceoff, they do get it out of the zone and in to the Tigers' end of the ice. As ETBU controls it here, that's Soderstrom. I'm just trying to get my promotion back to head statistician here, there Corey. You You're doing a great job. This one steered aside by Kalmus under a minute on the Arkansas power play. Or penalty, excuse me, kept in by Spiller. Finds Van Gemmerden. Van Gimmerton outside hash, controls it, puts it in the center of the ice, a backhanded pass from Bierney, controlled by Soderstrom in the corner. Soderstrom, top of the circle, cross ice pass, wide open net, another save by Kalmus. Big Slides save. across, wide open net, able to get that blocker on it, and chips it up and out of play. He's had about three or four 50-50 shots that you know they could or could not have gone in that he's made the saves on and kept this game tied. And this is a crucial last 30 seconds of the first 90 seconds of the final period. Arkansas, absolute must to kill this thing off. They put out Deacon in there against Knott. Knott seemed to have won the faceoff, but McLean came and took it away, but he had it taken away from him. The Tigers dump it in deep, but they get it back out to Spiller at the point. He's got Deacon in front of him. Shot blocked in front, steered wide of the net. Gathered in by Soderstrom, 20 seconds remain. The Arkansas penalty. Soderstrom, fine Spiller, top of the point, snap shot, missed the net wide, and chipped out by Odeline. Spiller has to regroup 10 seconds before DeGuire gets out of the box, carried in by Spiller, but well offside as Bierney couldn't hold the line. Seven seconds remain, and we'll get a face off right in front of where DeGuire will be coming out of that penalty box. Spiller coming off the ice, keep an eye on him, number 15, yeah. and he's no, no T. Ah, no Tim Tebow, <laughs> number 15. He is, uh, he's got some attitude and he's bringing it to the ice this afternoon. Face off one by the Hawks. It's Odeline, he's gonna ice it all the way down as the penalty expires. Good timing on that one. And McLean chases it down, but it does come out to center ice. Valdrin is gonna send it in deep. It's gonna wheel around to the near side corner. Suga Sawara in on the play. Shoveled in by Kieser. Sugasawar below the net to Wilson now. Back to Sugasawar. Couldn't handle the pass. It's going to be taken now by Baird. He skates it out. Valdron lines him up for the hit, knocks him off the puck, and knocks him offside. And we get a whistle once again. 18.09 left to play here in the third period. We are tied at three. And we're back to everything's even. Some of the things that aren't even, though, right now. Shots, Arkansas leading. 30 to 25, face-offs, East Texas Baptist up 24 to 18. That's 24 19 now as Arkansas controls that face-off. Thank you. Stopped at center ice, regrouping once again. Foster and McAtee playing catch with the puck. He finds Sugasawara far side, he's gonna carry it into the zone. As it poked away from him, knocked off his feet nicely by McLeod. Picked up in the corner by Wilson. Stick hand in the move, tries to cycle it to Suga Sawara. Being pressured hard by Lang. A battle for it in the corner, does come out. Missed the stick of Kieser, picked up by Baird, but kept in the zone by Foster. Takes a late hit, this one flipped out to center ice. Glove down by McAtee, gets it into the zone. Arkansas clears a delayed offside. With 17.20 to play here in a tied third game, or third period of a tied game. Good job by Kieser breaking up that rush at center ice. And Foster has got a head of steam. Lows up a slap shot. Rebound steered to the corner nicely by Domus. And Foster in deep from his defensive spot. Ellis back covering for him. Finally do switch it as the puck comes to the stick of Patterson. He's pinched up against the boards. Kept in by Odeline. Chips it to the near side corner now. Arkansas winger not home for it. They shovel it ahead as Dorham gets it out into the Arkansas zone, but co uh, controlled by Odeline. Finds Gottlieb. Toe drag move, makes another move. 
Gets around Shea. Shea lines him up for the hit, loses his edge. Picked up once again by Gottlieb. Steps out in front, finds a stick of Patterson. Couldn't control it. Doran might have got a stick on him to break that up, and we're going to have a delayed icing. And they do blow the whistle. And they're going to take someone off the bench. ETBU trying to sneak a, a quick change. That's going to be Shea. And Arkansas able to get the fresh legs out there. The Tigers will not be allowed to do so. We saw a lot of this in that second period where Arkansas had a lot of sustained pressure and prevented East Texas Baptist from changing. This faceoff will come to the left side of Domus. It's going to be Dorham against Kieser. Kieser wins it back. Salmon back to the point. Dumped in deep. Going to be chased by McLean. He's got Stevenson on him. Stevenson with a body check. Arkansas gets it. Salmon near side to Guire. To Guire couldn't get the shot through Shea's stick. Controlled now by the Tigers. They'll try it up the near side boards. Get it past Aguirre all the way down the ice. And another icing call. 15.56 to play. A lot of whistles early here in the third. But it's been played pretty clean so far considering how that second period ended. Absolutely. When we left our uh, show after the second episode, we, we saw some tension, but it seems to have subsided. Face off one, McLean with a shot and a blocker save by Domus. Taken by Spiller, being pressured by Kieser. Gets the outlet pass to the wing, but turned over in front. A quick shot, McLean, kick save, rebound, came back out, but Salmon couldn't pull the trigger. Back to the point, Foster. Foster, wrist shot, gets it through, and into the back of the net. Arkansas takes a 4-3 to three lead. I wish I'd said something, but I really felt like McAtee or Foster from the point were going to do something this period, and sure enough, Foster from the left point skitters one home. Now we're looking at the replay, trying to see if there was a tip in front, but as far as my eyes could see, that's a goal credited to Sean Foster, and Arkansas regains the lead. There's a little bump in front of the goal, too, and I think that's what... Uh, Domus was uh, Yeah, he was arguing. pretty upset. Slammed his stick there, out there on the ice. There was contact. But we will get a face off at center ice. 15-33 to play in Arkansas with a 4-3 lead. We believe McLean will get the assist on that, and that would be well-deserved because he was really putting the pressure on. Foster. McAtee couldn't handle it. Bounces off of his stick. Has to retreat quickly. Throws it. Deep into the zone. McLean Roy picks it up. He's got a man streaking. Soderstrom just ahead of his stick. Taken by McAtee. Finds his man far side. McLean into the zone. He's got Wiggins on him. Drop pass. Now to McAtee at the point. McAtee finds Valdron. Valdron couldn't get the shot through. It's blocked. And he has to hustle back on defense. Good play by Valdron. Getting back after that as Salmon touches it up offside. Well, the official call was unassisted. I'm, I'm giving a, an assist there to, to McLean on that. I'm one who loves to give out assists anyway, so I think there ought to be two on every goal just about. So This faceoff will come just outside the ETBU zone. It's going to be Deacon in there to take it against Riley Knott. Got to back the wingers up as Valentini and Bear trying to get a jump start. And this one is won by Knott. Back to his defensive partner. Trying to get it out of their own zone. They do. But Arkansas sends it back the other way. Chased down now by Bierney. He loses an edge. Picked up there. Riley centering pass. Nobody home. Back to the point for Deskier. Takes a quick shot. Gets it through the traffic. But just slides wide of that goal post. As Riley absorbs a hit, knocks his man off of his feet to the point. Shot got through once again, but missed the net wide as Valentini is being held up here in the corner. Finds his stick. Valentini loses an edge. Taken away by Knott. He's got Baird with him. He flips it deep into the zone. He's going to chase it down. Valdron just watches Knott pick up the puck. Sends it back below the cage. Up to Riley now. Riley gets his head up. Tried to chip pass out. Couldn't get enough on it. And Riley not is just going to dump it back in deep. Picked up by Deskier. 
Sends it far side off the stick of Aldrin, dangerously in front, and Kalmus is just going to cover that one up. A little bit of sloppy puck work by the Hogs towards the end of that shift, and they'll get some fresh legs out there. Well, they haven't so, learned their lesson either, I don't believe. I think, you know, the puck goes beyond the goal line. Somebody get down there. Let the goaltender stay in between the pipes and get back there and uh, pick it up. Do something with it. But just uh, letting East Texas Baptist have a free pass on those. They'll turn to line 1A with Stovall Wilson and Suga Sawara. Face off one of the side boards controlled by the Tigers. Stepping in his dorm. He takes a body from Stovall, but he regains control of the puck. Oh, and we're going to have a high sticking penalty here as Odeline was trying to hit the puck with a high stick and looks like he caught Lang yeah. in the head instead. Tough break for Arkansas. Lang's helmet got in the way on that one and you're responsible for your stick. Yep. Whatever you're doing with it, it needs to uh, not hit people in the head. And Odeline, who has been at the center of some of uh, the Tigers' attention here for the last uh, period or so, will serve his two minutes. Hopefully every bit of it also. The face off will be to the right side of Alex Kalmus. Face off one to Van Gemmerden. Find Soderstrom. He's got Spiller with him. But he'll find Van Gemmerden near side. Centering pass not. Back out to Spiller. Wrist shot. Save in front. Rebound bounces out to Spiller to the blue line. Spiller controls it there. Left handed stick down low. Shot. Saved by Kalmus. As Van Gemmerden had eyes towards that open net. Tied up behind the net now. Looks like Stovall in there for Arkansas. He's got it pinched up against the boards. Both teams trying to dig it out. Finally, Bierney comes away with it. He sends it near side point. Spiller. Spiller loads up a slap shot. Blocked in front. Suka Sawara. And he's trying to race it down the other way. And he's going to beat his man to the puck. He's got a breakaway. Two men on his hip. Gets a shot away and a good save by Domus. Suga Sawara thought he was held up initially. He was interfered with. Good play by Spiller to a point, but then uh, even, even with that, he couldn't contain Suga Sawara, who got in for the breakaway. A good job keeping a cool head by Domus. They are going to put Spiller in the box for interference. Late call on that one in Arkansas. There is Goes from a shorthanded chance to now a four-on-four -four opportunity and perhaps a power play here in a bit. That is the first penalty I've ever called correctly. That was interference, and it was called. So there you go. I think they finally got your eye prescription right then. There's justice in this world. Face off one by the Tigers. They get it out of the zone, but it's going to be taken by Captain Alex Kieser. Send it near side. McAtee across the red line, blue line into the zone. Far side finds Salmon. Toe drag move. Couldn't get the shot through. Taken now by Baird. Plays it off the boards, but in the feet of his man, Van Gemmerden, carried in by McAtee. Makes another move, backhand pass, just off the mark. And played out to center ice. Carried in by Knott. Dances around Kieser. Regains control of the puck. And a good hit by Salmon. Knocks him off the puck. And Arkansas plays it forward. Wilson to the stick of McAtee, the defenseman. Stepping up, toe drag move, backhand. Gets the shot away, saved by Domus. No rebound. And he holds on for the whistle. 12.05 to play. 28 seconds remain on Arkansas's penalty, and a minute 15 remains on ETBU's penalty. Four on four action, late here in the third period, or late in the game, 12.05 in the third. Arkansas leads this one by a goal. We're right about, we are right where we were last night. Arkansas with a one goal lead in the midway point of the third period. That shot tipped wide of the net, taken by Suga Suara. Puts it between the legs, out front to DeGuire. One-timer shot, save, rebound was there. Nobody home for Arkansas, and they're just going to ice this one down, and the Hogs will get an offensive zone face-off once again as there were still 13 seconds remaining on Odeline's penalty. And we are still four on four. These teams were four on four just a short time last night, and I thought Arkansas was a better team in the four on four where Arkansas was hurting a little bit, was a shorthanded goal, yep. and uh, really didn't connect uh, real well on the power play. Face off, tied up in the skates. Taken away by Arkansas. Valdron at the point. He sends it to Stovall. Six seconds before it's five on four Arkansas. 
They open the box a little bit early, but he stays in there. And now controlled by Soderstrom. Recognizes the shorthanded opportunity and ices it down. Arkansas will have five on four for the next 40 seconds, 11.28 remaining. One goal lead, carried ahead by Valdron. Passes up the right side, chipped into the zone by McLean. Bierney is going to send it off the boards. This one comes out to Valdron. He's got Stovall, sets it up, 25 seconds of power play. Stovall controls it. Valdron, one-timer, tipped in front by McLean, wide of the net. This one on the stick of Duncan, but it's taken away by DeGuire. DeGuire controls it near side corner. Back to the point, Stovall. He's got Valdron far side. Stovall, DeGuire, DeGuire. Top of the point, six seconds left. Back to Stovall, gets a shot away through everything, but misses the net wide. Back to five on five. Spiller coming out of the box, but Arkansas controls the puck. DeGuire gets it in deep, looking for McLean. He's held up there by Baird. But McLean comes away with the puck. Pass just off the mark, and Arkansas is going to have to clear the zone. As both teams kill off a portion of a penalty. And a shot sails just high as DeGuire nears the end of his shift, but he's going to have to get back on defense. As Spiller, fresh off a two-minute rest, dances in the zone, puts a big hit on Odeline. But Arkansas comes away with a puck. Held by McAtee, flips it off the glass. This one's going to trickle down the ice. No icing call. As Arkansas catches up to it, Patterson tried to poke it to himself, but Spiller's going to come away with it. And poked away nicely by Ellis, but it's going to be picked up by Lang. Carries it in. Dances around McAtee off the side of the net. And it's cleared to the side. Ellis now. He's got two men streaking on the other side. Finds a stick of Patterson. Stays on side. He's got Gottlieb, but he takes a big hit. And they're going to call a penalty for a cross check. It looked clean to me, but Riley not. sometimes. I thought it was a good hit. So, yeah, sometimes with the naked eye, it's hard to tell. Probably had to reach for it is why it was called for a penalty. You've got to make the hit. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he reached out. Yeah, it's a cross out. check there. Good, good full call. Full time, it, was, uh, it looked like a good hit, but he is, uh, he's, he's reaching for that one. And Arkansas with a good opportunity to try to extend this lead. Good as effort. The as the Tigers have shown, they, they can score in bunches as well and really try to avoid what happened late in last night's game where they gave up an onslaught of goals to Arkansas. And this faceoff is one to the side boards, a battle for it. Tigers come away with it, and they're going to send it all the way down the ice. McAtee is going to receive it after Kalmus slows it down. Tigers made a change, 144 remaining. On the power play, McAtee takes it in himself. Pass it to the outside, near side. Suga Sawara back to the point, Stovall. McAtee finds Suga Sawara back to Stovall. Fakes the pass, or fakes the shot, and it's going to come back the other way. Good job by Duncan as well as Van Gemmerden to break that up. It's going to be Stovall. Turns Van Gemmerden around, and captain or assistant captain takes it in, takes a shot, misses the net wide. Suga Sawara knocked off the puck, picked up by McAtee, and he loses it. And Van Gemmerden could have raced to the puck, but he was at the end of his shift as well. With a minute 05 remaining on the power play, McAtee's going to send it in deep into the zone. McLean and Kieser fresh on the ice. Going to have to chase this one down. Kalmus slows it down once again. Odeline has it, 8.40 to play. This is going to be the Keezer. The captain carries it into the zone, splits a couple players, takes a backhand shot, misses the net high. Arkansas having trouble finding the net recently. And Spiller is going to take it outside. Odeline lines him up, but he takes the brunt of the hit. Took some hands to the head as Kieser takes a hit in the corner and it's going to be a penalty in Arkansas coming back the other way. Kalmus heading to the bench and they do finally touch it up and it's going to be a five on three for Arkansas for the next 21 seconds. Spiller was out there head hunting. So Odeline and Spiller meet again. Odeline wants to deliver the hit and Spiller wins and he doesn't just settle for the win. He goes in the corner and uh, takes out another player. Now he's going to take a seat off the ice for the final eight minutes and 10 seconds. Yeah, it's unfortunate for the Tigers. Definitely one of the better players and a uh, big physical presence on the ice. He put a good hit on uh, Odeline. Odeline was trying to line him up and just dropped his shoulder into him, but in the corner boarded Alex Kieser, and uh, well, I just can't do that. And then they were just going to put him in the box, but uh, 
Just he couldn't keep a cool head. Say, I I, I'm, yeah. I'm certain that's what it was. He and hits hard with the body and with the uh, jaw. Yeah, I just uh, you, you can't do that. Your team needs her right now. You're only trailing by a goal. You're about to go down uh, five men to three. And now East Texas Baptist is missing three really key players, two from the attrition from last night. And now yeah, Zittle gone. Gruska seems to be out with an injury. The shoulder we're hearing, and now Spiller. A lot of production from the Tigers missing from this game. And Arkansas with a prime opportunity. So we've got four penalties this period and three now against East Texas Baptist and Arkansas's penalty wasn't a poise thing and all three of the Tigers were, were maybe a lapse in poise. Arkansas controls the puck, Valdron. Down low, McLean finds Odeline. He's got some room, misses the net wide. Valdron's going to gain control on the far side, top of the circle, gets a shot through, tipped up into the air, and out of the stick of Odeline. Arkansas in tight, missing the one timer was McLean. This one sent off the boards, and Odeline couldn't catch up, and they do have a man. That's Riley Knott once again. Trying to tie it up. He's knocked off of his feet, but nobody wanted to go get it. Now take it by Odeline. Got a two on two, three on two coming the other way and a delayed penalty again on ETBU. Shot goes high. Sam it takes a sharp angled shot. Good save by Domus. And we're going to get another man, perhaps a fourth, put into the box with some extracurriculars going on there as well. O-line coming out of the middle of that. He's, he's been in some scraps today. But, and, you know, if you follow Arkansas, I understand we've got East Texas Baptist watchers too, and uh, we sure do appreciate you. But part of the game for Arkansas has often been that it's Arkansas that often loses its poise, kind of yeah. gets up on somebody and then says, and eh, we're going to take a little shot here or there. And I've been very impressed here these first 12 and a half minutes, and I'm waiting for the uh, – you know, the ceiling to fall in on this. But for 12 and a half minutes, Arkansas has done a very good job of not retaliating and not taking the, the you know, lack of poise penalties that, that have been uh, assessed here in the third period. And that's going to be Van Gemmerden heading to the box. Just his third and fourth penalty minute of the season. It comes at a unfortunate time as Arkansas goes back on the five on three with 118 remaining on the penalty being served by Dylan Hedrick. And two minutes on the board for Van Gemmerden. Arkansas with a five on three. They lose the faceoff. And it's going to be sent down the ice by Riley Knotts. 7.20 to play. Arkansas, a four to three lead. Cameron McAtee skates it ahead. Puts on the brakes at the blue line. A little lackadaisical leads to an offside call. I almost feel like Arkansas has to score here. And for the Tigers, if you can kill this off and still be trailing only one goal with about five minutes remaining, you got to feel really good about yourselves. Arkansas wins a faceoff to Guire. It's going to send it far side McAtee. Let's see if they can get it into the zone. They do carry it in. Controlled by McAtee, far side. Sends it to Guire. Far side now. Stovall takes the shot, blocked in front. Arkansas comes away with it. McAtee steps out in front, wide open net, and a good save there by Domus, and the goaltender is taken out. And he makes a save without his stick as Wilson comes crashing into the goalie. Some more chippy play, 36 seconds remaining on the five on three for Arkansas. While that's going on, DeGuire is over here helping the uh, goaltender retrieve his stick. I got to say, uh, last night we probably didn't say Domus's name once because he wasn't a goaltender last night. But of the three goaltenders this weekend for East Texas Baptist, Domus has been the best. He's not had those long lapses of the the uh, the pair of goals that Arkansas keeps getting or was getting last night. Face off controlled by the home team. DeGuire near side, McAtee back to DeGuire. Settles it down. Wanted a shot, sends it low, Sugasawara, DeGuire takes a shot through traffic. Defenseman loses a stick, regains it. Controlled by Stovall, McAtee sets a little bit of a pick for him. Stovall winds up in front, a block shot, putting his body on the line. 
was Lang. Took that one off the inside of his leg. And Stovall hooks a man to the ice. Might have been hold, holding no his stick. No call. And Arkansas with a four on three coming back the other way as a man comes out of the box. Suga Sawara tries to get around a man. McAtee tried to toe drag it out. Back to Suga Sawara. Couldn't get a shot away. And we're five on four for the next 30 seconds. 5.56 remaining. Taken by Suga Sawara. Sends it back to the point to McAtee. Back to Suga Sawara. He's got Salmon. Top of the circle. Faked a shot. Sends it to Kieser. Kieser cross ice. Salmon backhand shot. Wide open net. Puck loose in front. Another save in front. A big pile in front. Finally, and that knocked off its moorings. Bodies go crashing to the ice. And we get a whistle. Excellent penalty kill so far for the Tigers as 10 seconds remain on the five on four. And again, it's Arkansas's power play, and East Texas Baptist almost had the best chance to score. And when you were saying that it's you know almost a necessity to score, I'm still worried about this net down here. Keep it out of there. Uh, it's not two free minutes, and East Texas Baptist put pressure on Arkansas. One other point, Suga Sawara, there's been Arkansas, has had 42 shots. I don't think Suga Sawara has a shot on goal yet. Foster with it, gets a shot, misses the net wide. Three seconds before Van Gemmerden comes out of the box. Foster. Drifts out to center ice to cover that up. Cross ice pass, gets through to the stick. McLean fans on it, though. And it's going to be sent down the other way, and this may be an icing call, as it should be. And they're going to pull the players back out on the ice. Unfortunately, I think they were looking for an outlet pass, just, uh, just hoping somebody would be there rather than uh, getting your head up. And Arkansas is going to get an offensive zone faceoff for it. But we are back to five on five. East Texas Baptist successfully kills off the five on three. And not a bad idea either by the Tigers. That's uh, the best play they've got. Uh, and that's not to take anything away from their setup in the offensive zone, but the situation they were in, that's the best play they've got. Face off, won by the Tigers, Van Gemmerden. Taken away by Arkansas, that's Deacon. Tried a centering pass, couldn't get it. Deacon still on his backhand, back to the point. Tried to get it to Deskier, couldn't get enough on it though. And coming back the other way, Duncan shovels it ahead, Van Gemmerden. And Deacon on the back check as the Tigers make a change. Valentini couldn't get it through Soderstrom. Soderstrom takes a hit, but regains control of the puck. Foster finally does poke it away from him nicely. Picked up by Deacon. Deacon fans on it. Wiggins sends it down low. Controlled by Foster. Chips it to Deacon. Deacon off the boards looking for Valentini. Valentini gets it ahead to Riley. Taken away by Soderstrom. Puck was loose. They chip it out to center ice. And it's going to be Sean Foster gaining control for Arkansas. Sends it far side, O line. Chip pass ahead. Deacon couldn't handle it. He does chip it into the zone. Soderstrom. He's got Valentini in his hip pocket, but a nice outlet pass. Finds Van Gemmerden. Across the blue line. Out in front, a slash. No call as Dorham shaking the hand off. And chipped away by Riley. Riley couldn't win the race to the puck as as the Tigers player coming off the bench. Back checks nicely. Duncan trying to get it up the far side board. It's a tie up now. 3.51 remaining. And it's gonna be Gottlieb. Back to DeGuire, gets a shot through. Misses the net wide. Domus looked a little bit lost on that one. Picked up now Patterson. Patterson skates it far side. Looking to make a pass, gets it back to DeGuire. Gets a wrist shot, misses the net wide. Odeline's going to come in from his D spot, gets a shot off, and a nice stick save by Domus, steers it up and out of play. 3.29 to play. East Texas Baptist trailing by only a goal. Should it remain a one goal lead for Arkansas later in this game, they'll look to pull the goalie, but right now the pressure that Arkansas is putting on is, is kind of going to make that difficult for this Texas team. But again, the way the Tigers play, you get too far forward, and it gives them their best chance to score also. The Tigers wheel it around far side. Arkansas having trouble with it. They do keep it in nicely. Valdron stick handling move. Gets around Wiggins. Backhand pass just ahead of Patterson. Taken by Soderstrom. Flips it ahead. Finds a stick of Van Gemmerden. He's on his backhand. Try to centering pass. He finds Soderstrom. Shot misses the net wide. Needed to have that one. But the Tigers... Regain control, send it down low, Soderstrom. 
Arkansas does a nice job breaking up any pass opportunity in front. And Valdron does it once again as Arkansas gains control. Nice pass up ahead into the zone. No offside call. Gottlieb gets it. Cross-size pass, and it's in the back of the net. Dakota Gottlieb just throws it in front. I don't know if Ellis got a stick on it or if it hit the leg. I thought it was Patterson, maybe. Definitely the pass from Gottlieb. Well, they may be giving him the goal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If, I yeah, it looks like Patterson actually gets a stick on that. I think the pass was to Ellis on the far side. We'll see who they officially credit to, but Arkansas extend this to a, a two-goal lead with 2.38 to play. Well, Gottlieb went to take the first congratulations over there, so that could have been a his goal. And a questionable non-call as well as it looked like it may have been offside. Shot steered aside by Domus. 2.26 to play. Well, thank goodness, not just for Arkansas' sake, but for the sake of our sanity, we don't check every goal to see how many skate links we were offside. Arkansas chips it down in the, into the zone, approaching the two-minute mark of this third period. We'll keep an eye on Domus. Foster lines up Shea for a hit. Puck picked up by McAtee. Two minutes to play. Cameron McAtee. Skates it across the red line, across the blue line, into the zone, and an offside call. We got that one right. And by we, I do mean those of us up here in the booth. I would expect a timeout call to come at some point soon from Coach Allen Savage. Very impressed with East Texas Baptist Moxie. They've come after Arkansas. And, you know, many times teams lost the second game the night before against Arkansas. That did not happen here today for the Tigers. And they do credit the last Arkansas go to goal to Gottlieb. Carried in by the Tigers. Tied up in the skates. Picked out by Odeline. Three on two if they hurry. Odeline, far side, finds McLean. cross ice pass just ahead of the stick of Salmon. Tries to throw it at the net, but it's broken up by Birney. Birney flips it up. Glove down by Odeline. A minute 23 to play. Odeline carries it into the zone deep. Got Birney on him, centering pass back out to the point. Keezer fakes a shot, toe drag, loses it edge, and falls to the ice, just dumps it to the corner, and Birney is going to flip this one up and out of the zone with a minute 08 to play. Doesn't seem like East Texas Baptist has any interest in pulling the goalie. As DeGuire controls it, he'll pass it near side. Outlet pass, far side now on the stick of McLean. Carries it into the zone and flips it out of the zone. Nice stick lift from Salmon. He'll circle back into his own zone, 45 to play. Keep an Fletcher eye on Josh Heron there, number 16. He's taking over Spiller's role. And a big hit there, but Salmon is going to step into the zone. Forrest outside. Quick shot, tipped in front. Rebound was there, cleared out nicely by Birney with 27 seconds. This one's going to be flipped down the ice. And we're going to get an icing call. 22 and a half to play. Arkansas with a 5-3 to three lead. And it seems like East Texas Baptist is uh, accepting the loss here. Yeah. Before the game, I was looking and uh, noticing that their uniforms do look like the Charlestown Chiefs, and watching uh, Heron, Josh Heron, out on the ice, I was kind of like, oh, everybody duck, because he was after people. This puck dumped back into the zone before it's dumped back out by the Tigers. And with 10 seconds of play, Fletcher sends it to center ice. They're going to dump it in deep as Ellis may be the last hog to touch the puck. A nice victory for Arkansas, and sure enough, Heron wearing one of the uh, Hanson brothers' numbers, I believe, is uh, yeah, one has, the has the final say in the game. Tried to line up one last hit. Looked like he pulled off, though. And Arkansas comes out of here with a 5-3 win and a tough-fought game that went back and forth and saw Arkansas trail for a bit as well. 
Arkansas, the Division III team, able to get a win over the Division II East Texas Baptist University Tigers. Arkansas will likely remain their num remain uh, number one in Division Three in the Pacific Region. Absolutely. Heading into the SEC tournament next weekend. So the ranking of number one is uh, more important than the Division Three that Arkansas is in. But as uh, we sit at the top of the broadcast last night, uh, this is a Division One and Division Three combined. This is uh, the deepest most talented team Arkansas has ever had. And, and uh, to put that in historical pers perspective, uh, Arkansas has had a program for, what, 10 years and has banners all over the place. Six Southeastern Conference uh, yeah. hockey banners and shooting for a seventh next weekend and well, well on their way. I'd say they're well prepped uh, against Missouri State last week. The report was they were a little rusty after the long break. I think they've kicked the rust off. I think this game was much more of indicative of where the two teams are uh, as far as how they compare. I think Arkansas is probably better by, you know, one to two, three goals if they played 100 times. Uh, and yet last night was just maybe uh, uh, a little unusual that Arkansas just had, had those uh, huge uh, blasts of offense and uh, today had to earn it with a hard-fought 5-3 victory. And with that win, Arkansas moves to 30-3 and on the year, just the second time in program history uh, that they've won 31 or 30 games, that record being 31 in the 2013-14 season, a uh, season in which they won the SEC HC tournament uh, and made a Nationals appearance as well. So Arkansas will be back home two weeks from now uh, against Alabama. They got a game on Friday, which is Valentine's Day. So bring your girlfriend, bring your wives out, enjoy some hockey together before dinner. Or both. Or your both. Girlfriend and your wife. I, I wouldn't say bring both, but and then they do rematch on Saturday. So uh, that should be a good weekend as well. But uh, the Hogs looking forward to next weekend. Uh, got that first game on Friday at noon against Tennessee, and they'll be looking to make a deep run in the SEC HC tournament. As we take a look at the bracket, uh, the next matchup, should they get past Tennessee, would be the winner of that Georgia, Georgia Tech matchup. Uh, Georgia, the most recent SEC HC champion. So uh, some good games on tap for next weekend. Uh, check out Penalty Box Radio. They'll have the call uh, for you guys there. So uh, maybe one year we'll be able to make it out there. So Arkansas looking We're to win that tournament. Up. And uh, should be fun. Looking forward to the end of the year. And uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in for uh, my partners here, Rich Sanders, Quinn Shields, EJ Sanders. My name's Corey Porter. We'll see you guys in a couple weeks.